Hello. Uh, so, I want to start this off by asking a question. Hey, Brennan. That's how me. Much, how much do you remember about Beretta Pietro? Mmm, good question. I think we're going to find out. <laughs> we're going to find out together. Do you, do you remember where she left off? Where in the world she might have left off? Because On a boat. if you look at the city of Indigo, it's somewhere around this area. And you and your father, fleeing certain unfortunate circumstances, decided to ride the boat up in this direction. You stopped Wait, in. Are we going to get a geography night. lesson? Yeah, you're going to get a tiny geography lesson. See, um, Wonderful. this is the very edge of Windrose. You're sort of standing on the precipice to the world at large, and should you go any further, you would enter into Lancia, eventually Sagaris, and then finally Raoji. Your chartered course was supposed to carry you into the Great Sea at large, carry you down to Raoji, where you'd lay low, probably for a matter of months. But, unbeknownst to you, your course changed. Your father seemed to have other plans. Rather than lying low on the far side of the world, he decided it'd be a far keener idea to instead lay his anchor down a little closer. Instead, you sailed into Southern Lancia, a small island known as Steel Gold Island. A tiny, insignificant place that not many people have heard of outside of a few nasty rumors. Bretta, this is the start of your wonderful, endless summer trip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beach time! And as, as you row up to the island, as you approach, you find yourself almost lost in a heat haze. Uh, the events of something that occurred relatively recently, dancing across your brain pan, almost called up by the distorted light. Yeah. You remember back on what drove you here. The events that you're still trying to piece together as you make your journey. You've been relatively quiet. Um, there's a lot to think about. Departing Indigo under such hurried circumstances, the creature you encountered there and the legacy you left behind, has left your mind somewhat muddled. Trying to piece together all of this on your own has proven to be difficult, so instead, all of these individual facts and figments dance through your head, looking for some sort of resolution. You remember that night pretty clearly, but it almost feels like it was lived by another person. Those experiences carried forward into your body by some sort of mannequin. You remember saying goodbye to Teach, saying goodbye to the city as a whole. And then, all that remains of that foggy night is the bleaching summer sun, carrying absolutely everything away from it. Almost like the dawn carries away the night. Thump. Your boat impacts the dock. We're here! <laughs> A loud call stirs you from your sleep. So I was, he jumps up on the uh, shore. I was going to say, there was probably a minute where Beretta was like, okay, I have to make sure that I'm well trained and in good shape for the time that I come back in. So that like, there's evidence that she started doing like push-ups and like maybe some shadow boxing in her room. But uh, as soon as she got away from the demon that's been sleeping on her chest for the past two years, she falls asleep and stays asleep. <laughs> <laughs> William, William gestures around. Welcome to Steel Gold Island, our nice little, our nice little hideaway. Apparently, there's a lot of people here. When I set up our little bunker here, it was completely abandoned. He, uh, he, he extends a hand to you uh, as you look around at the brilliant, brilliant sunshine. And I need to probably give you your legs. I need my legs. <laughs> Uh, edited and controlled by... You know what? Everybody gets to play Beretta today. <laughs> no! It's my <laughs> special day. <laughs> he, holds, he holds a hand out to you. How long was I asleep? <laughs> well, uh... I think you dozed off right when we got off the ship. Don't worry, though. They're gonna be back in a week, and if we gotta get off the island, he motions with his head over to this ship. 
You see, I got a little man. I got, I got a man on the inside. A little man on the inside, some would say. He taps his nose. <laughs> a little man. You gave yes. everybody power over Breda except me, I think. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, let me see. Name. Let's see. It represents none. Controlled by Jay Breda. <laughs> Can you move her? Uh, no. Are your lights just not working in general? Uh, I, try... um... Should I refresh, maybe? I think try refreshing. I believe so. Yeah, it's, it's this one right here. Let's see. Are you exclamation point or question mark? Oh, oh there we go. You're good. Brenna, your legs! Brenna. My legs. They were you over slept there. so long, they've atrophied. <laughs> can you move her? My legs fell asleep. Yeah, I can move her. Yeah, she yeah. takes his hand and gets onto the dock. <laughs> he, uh, he yanks you aboard. Well. Okay. I should appraise you of the situation first. Most important thing. We're going to be lying low on this island a little bit. I've got someone over here. Let's call him a contact. And... I've also yeah, got the little man, right? Yes, the little man. I've also got someone back in the city who should be handling things for us. He says, <laughs> rubbing his beard. Very... Is that a big man or a little man? Oh, he's a very big man. He's uh, he's in the will, actually. Pretty much your brother. <laughs> I'm glad I that I don't know my brother. You have met him many times in the past. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> he starts to walk down the dock, but. He puts both of his hands on your shoulder. While we're on this island, while we're on Steel Gold Island, you need to do me a favor. We aren't the Pietro family right now. Who, who are we gonna be? You have uh, names? <laughs> I've got a name for me. You've gotta think of a name for you. Uh, right now, my name is Johnny Two Guns. Because John me having that low a number of guns? Ludicrous. <laughs> uh, nobody would believe that. That's a good point. <laughs> He grins and looks de uh, you dead in the eyes. So you've got to think of a pseudonym. A lot of people on this island are living under different names. Oh, that's just... a, this is a thing. We're just adapting to the customs of the, of the island. Indeed we are. <laughs> he sort of gestures and takes a step forward. <laughs> okay, then um, I guess I should be uh, Glock to uh, two guns because I'm your daughter. And <laughs> it's a different brand. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you, Glock Tua. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything on the mind, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> you two walk down the be uh, walk down the pier, and Christian, do you want to take over the next segment? <laughs> yeah. Um, Brennan. Or I <laughs> should say Glock Tua, actually. <laughs> Glock Tua. Um, you, you hear a voice ring out that sounds like like, uh, it's hard to really put it. It's not a guttural voice, but it carries the kind of energy a guttural voice would have as someone calls out, Glocktua, huh? And the amusement on their voice seems to amplify as you hear a shaking and a movement. The panels of this wooden pier move and shake a little bit as you see a hand shift up and grab the panel as a, first off, a white sun hat pokes up with a single blossom upon it, uh, a resplendent pink, and then eyes appear, dark, purple, terrifying eyes, lit upon a face with a very wonderful smile as she looks at you, and Pietro, huh? I think our cover's blown dead. We should have been aware of people hiding under the docks. <laughs> she kind of crawls over oh, and just... Oh, here we go. <laughs> she crawls over and rolls up and then stands up again. I was just getting a little sun tanning, except I didn't have an umbrella, so... She kind of points <laughs> underneath the pier itself. <laughs> you notice. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why... Hold on, why are why are you here? Why aren't you back in Raoji? <laughs> she taps her side of her head. I should ask you the same question, old man. She kind of turns over uh, regarding Bretta. It's just a little squirt. She goes over <laughs> and just ruffles her hair a little bit. You were so small last time I saw you. Do you even remember me? 
Absolutely not. But apparently I don't remember my brother either, so... <laughs> she she kind of uh, regards you a little bit, and then she, she pinches your cheek and pulls it like an aunt would uh. as she kind of goes over to the side and looks at you in that way. Nobody aunts Glock to a... <laughs> you got a problem with it? No. <laughs> she looks, and then her, her mouth kind of curls down a little bit. I wish you did. It's so boring here. <laughs> Are you seriously here for vacation, too? We're here to lie low while the mob, uh, like, scours the city looking for us. I thought that this would be the safest safe house, and I guess technically with you here, it kind of is. Oh, what mob? Which mob? Uh, Riviera, oh. Indigo yeah. Mob. I don't, I don't know them. A bunch of families. Uh, uh yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we managed to piss off the Nagoya family, so that's good at least. Mm. She kind of thinks that this immediately start, turns over, kind of <laughs> losing interest on that, as she kind of shifts back. So you were gonna say something? Well, I was just going to say when I was a little squirt, did you expect that I would be in trouble with the mafia? Mm. She kind of like scratches her chin a little bit. Guess I never thought that. You really surprised. How? Tell me, how did that happen? Uh, it's a long story, one that I'm probably going to have to be reminded over the course of this episode. <laughs> yeah. mm. Mm. William almost to himself like trails off. Weren't you in trouble with the mob the last time we met? <laughs> she kind of thinks about that. I suppose I was. She kind of hops over off the pier and kind of like, like crouches down and crawls half underneath the pier again as she kind of shouts up. So... What did you did you fight him or something? The mob? Well, yeah. Um, I kind of set like a set course for a series of events that mm -hmm. hopefully will destroy the mob. So mm. I didn't have to fight them myself. Hopefully, huh? Oh, mm -hmm. so are you? She kind of peeks her head up. Oh, are you like a coward? <laughs> no, I'm like a brilliant strategist. I play a lot of. Oh. Gold. I'm, a I'm something of a strategist myself. She kind of reaches her hand over and Retta. You notice I guess that's that, another thing we have in common. I guess so. She kind of steps back, and Bretta, you notice she's dragging something out. It's, oh, it's like a tree branch. No, no, that's not quite right. In fact, it's resplendently red, and in fact, it almost grows like a corally pattern as she kind of drags it out. It seems to be on a, like, a hilt of a sword, but at the end, it almost kind of becomes like a club of some sort. And she kind of pops back up and then looks over and just kind of plants that into the dirt, leaning on it a little bit as she turns over and looks at you. So, uh, brilliant strategist, uh, I guess, uh, hmm, you wouldn't happen to be willing to play me in a game then, would you? I'm telling you, it's boring. I could use some kind of entertainment. Um, she, she looks at her dad. <laughs> do we have time or do we need to go into some sort of underground safe house with a little man. She glares <laughs> over at William. <laughs> William sort of like takes a step to the side, looks down at Zizen, looks back over to Glock to us. <laughs> Zizen uh, kind of speaks up, fine, fine. Then if any uh, mobsters come on by, I'll make sure to protect you and your daughter. <laughs> he, he kind of nods and then looks over to Bretta. She is... She is one of the premier uh, participants in the second uprising of the squid. She, uh, oh, she's about as close as you'll get to a legendary hero. He sort of mumbles off. I saw you, uh... Icon I saw, expression. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you doing all of that, like workout stuff and like it was really good i'm glad you're putting the work and the time in but if you're looking for someone to like help you out get stronger he looks over to zizen and like a hundred percent like concerned but also like respectful i guess is the best way to put it you could find someone you can you can certainly find worse people well, so, any hermit that sleeps underneath the dock is probably worth training under. <laughs> and then she hops off the dock. I wasn't <laughs> sleeping. She kind of steps back. I was meditating. She. <laughs> That's what all the hermits say. <laughs> she um, 
I'm not all of the Hermans. I'm only the truest one in this world. She <laughs> steps back and kind of makes her way into the water. So what do you do? What's your thing? What's my thing? Yeah. Oh, I'm a student body president of my university. Um, I also have a gang of cowboys. We shoot guns, do crimes. Cowboys, huh? Mm -hmm. Crime and cowboys. That sounds pretty cool. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't. You got a six shooter? Do I have my six shooter? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you don't. Johnny Two Guns reaches down and, and picks up the six shooter and throws it to you, becoming Johnny One Gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have she catches it around her finger. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, I don't believe that I actually got your name. What may I call my contemptuous aunt? <laughs> uh, she kind of uh, adjusts the brim of her hat a bit and kind of does a little bow. You notice she's a bit into the waves now, almost standing half submerged to maybe give you an advantage. How <laughs> prideful. But regardless, she speaks up. You can call me ZZ. ZZ Shingard. <laughs> Wow, yeah, everybody's under fake names here, of course. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, that sounds like a real name. <laughs> she, she. You, you feel yeah. the aura change. <laughs> <laughs> she holds herself uh, with the branch sword in her hand and kind of looks directly across at you and then gets ready for a classic duel of. Well, looks like a swordsman duel, but you got a gun and you're at a distance, so. Well. <laughs> Greta. Why don't you give yeah. us a good old roll to do? Let's. Or um. How? Okay. So in this case, uh, Breda, I am going to initialize your character. Tell me if it remains functional. This is very important. Uh, can you do you see your roll to do, roll to die, etc. Uh, in the upper um... left. Um. When you click on your item. Nope. I clicked on my thing and I. Try again. Nope. Huh. Maybe I'll me. refresh again. Yeah, yeah. Just give me another refresh. It's fine. We can edit it in post, yeah. man. Don't worry. Absolutely. Everyone not. has performance anxiety occasionally. <laughs> it's it's wow. not performance anxiety. On his special day. On his, On his special, special day. day. There's oh, nobody I hate more. <laughs> I suppose it is. It is a holiday. There it is. There it goes. Okay. Give me a... Uh, you can roll to die first to select your color. That's fine. Okay. That's fair. Roll to die. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, I'll lock in red, because I think we're going to shoot. <laughs> there we go. Red. I've got on my red tie. Wait, you're gonna shoot a person? Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> She's got a stick. She'll be fine. She's got a stick. Mm hmm. Okay. Give me a roll she, to do. Both of she you. isn't a person. That's that's the closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> I rolled two. I rolled two natural ones. I rolled two of them. Hey. Yeah. Christian, what happens? Yeah. Um. She. <laughs> How is that possible? Oh, uh, so um, you shoot the gun, and you notice you've seen it all the time in the movies. She goes up, and she she goes for the cut. She reaches forward and then slashes with her sword, and the sword cuts the bullet in half at the one of the ends, and then one of <laughs> the bullet then still uh, a bullet in motion. Uh, splits into two and, and hits her twice. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, I was going to say how cool that is. directly into the ocean, her hat floating above for a little bit. <laughs> and wow. you notice that your, her head kind of pops up. She's, she's partially submerged still. She only brings her eyes up to about her nose above the water again. And there's water pouring down her face. Is she crying? <laughs> she dips her head underwater brain. and then and then about about 10 seconds later she pops up and she just kind of like w wipes the air away from her face great great shot kid <laughs> it really was 
<laughs> you're really, you're you. really good with that gun of yours. <laughs> I was going to say how cool that was that you that thing that you just did, but unfortunately, I haven't had a full night of sleep in like two years, so I'm very ready. <laughs> ah, I see. Well, you're you're got a good gun hand. That's great. Here, let me. Uh, she steps out of the water <laughs> and steps even up, and she examines you a bit more. <clears throat> Now do it again. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, yes! Come on, Brennan. Come on, Brennan. Oh. oh. No, you know what? <laughs> let's uh let's freaking uh ricochet. Oh, 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 you're going to use the ricochet? Okay, yeah, yeah give, give it another one. Uh, apply that penalty. <laughs> What's the penalty? Uh, so it would be uh, minus one. Minus one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it bounces and still hits her. <laughs> Zizen, uh, tell me what, tell me what happened. I mean, ZZ Shingard, tell me what happens. <laughs> She gets hit again and looks across, and you notice that, you know, I said, oh, is she crying? Um, the second that happens again, she she kind of, like, feels the bullet hit her, and then uh, she kind of hits the dirt, and she grabs at her arm, and she, she kind of, like, puts the sword to the side, grabs her hat, and covers it over her face, and she just runs away! <laughs> Daddy, I did it. I've proven the superiority of our firearms. Wow, incredible work. <laughs> not even my lucky gun. <laughs> that that could be your new lucky gun. That's incredible. Good job defeating oh a hero, God. kiddo. <laughs> Normally she does this thing which is like, oh, you gotta land one hit, but you got two. I think three, technically. She split one and helped me get another one. <laughs> <laughs> just incredible you want to hold on to the gun you want to be Glock tool one gun <laughs> yeah I guess so we have to change our last name ah, it's, it'll, it'll fluctuate as I find more guns <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the two walk away watching ZZ Shingard disappear into the fucking sunset <laughs> crying into her hat <laughs> I was wow. hoping to learn something I think you still could, like, uh, <laughs> running away is a skill in itself. <laughs> what about the crying part? Uh, do you want to learn how to cry? No, not yet. You used to cry all the time. <clears throat> Me? Yeah, way back in the day. I mean, before you entered your, uh, what did, mo what did mom call it? Your hell phase? <laughs> oh, yeah, the hell phase. I remember, well, I don't remember it, but I've heard about it. I've heard legends. <laughs> Stop. Wait a second. That presence. His eyes start to scan the horizon. He feels a building pressure once again in the air. And looking over, his eyes fixate on something. Something that you haven't seen in a while. What is that? Those eyes. So empty, cold, lifeless. They reflect little more than the abyss itself staring back at you. Oh shit, it's Little Man! <laughs> oh, little Man so much. Little Man approaches his old friend uh, <laughs> and uh, promptly, like a monkey, uh, climbs him. <laughs> nice, it's been a while. I'm yeah, suddenly he... finding out what all of this means. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's in the will. <laughs> no, this one isn't in the well. No, no, no. The big man back home's in the well. In the I was going to say, I hope that there's not a bunch of people in the well. Not that I want you to die or anything, but I'd like something out of it. Uh, he, he, <laughs> he tugs on William's horn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah of course. It's similar he, to he, a banana. He wheels, he wheels back over and then leans down. Anyway, this is Little Man. Uh, hey, Little Man. Huh? Keep, keep an eye on my daughter while we're here, okay? <laughs> Uh, little man uh, stumbles and monkey walks around observing uh, Glock to a uh, Glock to him. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, he gives a, a small little nod and uh, climbs her. 
tree allows him to climb. <laughs> Is this also some sort of legendary hero? Absolutely not. <laughs> You're very well traveled, though. <laughs> Come um, on, I'll take okay. you to the I'm not used to being ridden. <laughs> Tugs on your hair a bit. Don't do that. <laughs> you, <coughs> your little your little group approaches approaches actually a small little settlement up ahead the um the ground sort of caves way and it appears that people have set down buildings long lines of lumber sort of line either part of the path it appears that they're trying to construct some sort of a settlement here this will take me one moment but first Beretta, yeah. I need you to roll me. And clock to a, I need clock you to, a, please. to roll me some dice. Uh, give me a d6. A d6. Just a normal d6 for random encounter. Five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, fun. That's that's fine. Um, okay. Uh, let me boot that up really quick, and you'll be good. Your fucking ones. Yo. God. I'm so happy. I'm so yeah. happy. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> okay. And then this one will also be here. You know that scene in Indiana Jones? Where there's yeah, that guy with the yeah, scimitar. It's that. It's that. <laughs> she was swinging her stick around all <laughs> flourishingly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, eventually, the group approaches another nice village. We changed the tune. Uh, this one. It's. Yeah, this is nice, actually. This is really nice. Yes. From what I understand, they're trying to construct some sort of a, a port here, like it's a like it's a stopover location. Um, access to the rest of the world at large is rather difficult, so they need a place for resupply. And this island is apparently uninhabited enough that they are able to build. He sort of trails off, seeing two people across the way. First, you notice someone sort of. They almost have. They have what appears to be most clearly resembling a hummingbird re uh, blessing, chatting pleasantly with someone who's standing in the middle of a fire pit. Uh, this person has an entirely different intensive aura about him. Oh no, they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the one on the right sort of turns, uh, seeing you approach, they, they, their face splits into a big beaming smile. Oh, more guests. Welcome in, welcome in. They wander forwards, beaming to you. My name is Yori Tanakashima. They hold out their hand for you. She, uh, looks back. Right, Yori. <laughs> <laughs> she shakes their hand, knowing that everybody has fake names here, apparently. Uh, who do I have the pleasure of meeting today? Well, uh, my name is Glock Tua, two guns. Yes, uh, one gun right now. Uh, I, and I'm Johnny One Gun. <laughs> there's there's like a groan from behind in the fire pit of someone. Ugh, more fake names, huh? <laughs> the other person kind of steps out for a moment. Just it sends you this sort of like dour glare. And what would you no, two be No, no, it's not a fake name. Between the two of us, we have two guns. <laughs> it's true. Uh, he, he just gives, like, a really, like, basically the icon stare at both of you. Right, and what brings you here? Oh, wait. Oh, no, I recognize this guy. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh Glock to a second. <laughs> He'll throw his arm around you and leans back. That guy's a lawyer from Indigo. Oh, no. <laughs> the only thing worse than mobsters are lawyers. <laughs> Don't know what he's doing here, but, uh... There's a good chance that he knows exactly who we are, so, uh, uh, I don't know how we play this. Yori tilts their head like, what? 
Okay, just, let's um, just team guest today. Don't worry about it. Be cool. <laughs> be cool. Be cool. I usually get by with a hat, but I don't think I packed any. Uh, hi, uh, uh person I don't know. Uh, I'm Johnny One Gun. A pleasure to meet you for the first time. <laughs> it felt like you had my name on the tip of your tongue. He kind of shakes your hand and then turns on over and looks at Beretta uh, and just kind of addresses, my name is Socorro Aquila. A pleasure to meet you. <laughs> I feel that pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a step backwards. Uh, she runs that law office at the head of Main Street. Oh, that place? I've never been inside, but I've seen it. <laughs> I hear it's a really cool map anyway. <laughs> 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 takes another step forwards. So, uh, we actually have a residence that predates yours on this island. Uh, I hope you haven't built over it or anything. <laughs> this is the PH Rose. <laughs> Beretta is flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I do believe that was actually in the blueprint. Um, we haven't we haven't imposed on your territory at all. Don't worry about it. Um, I could give you a tour if you want. Your emotions around. Of course, we will need a tour because we've never been here before. Um, okay. Well, uh, what? Hmm. What could we have to show travelers from? They turn around expectantly. Ah, uh, we're from Raoji. Oh. Hi. Uh, I am as well. Where from? Feathers Landing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks. <laughs> and then he kind of turns over and it says, Oh, uh, Iori, if we're giving yeah. a tour, we should steer clear of the west side. Still cleaning up the slaughtered pig. Ah, uh, yes, of course. What? <laughs> uh, don't. Don't worry about it. Um, when we woke up this morning, there was just a mishap. Um, it's nothing to be concerned about. What kind of mishap? A mishap. Waters that, don't sound like mishaps. Yeah, that sounds actually like a. That, that sounds like a hap. Socorro <laughs> uh, turns. Nothing to worry about. Why don't you just relax? Relax in your dusty little shack in the corner of the island. <laughs> dusty and enjoy, little. Enjoy your vacation. <laughs> he says, smiling. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> uh, your emotions over. There you'll find the inn in Hot Springs. That's also where we tend to meet. So if you want dinner later, you're more than welcome. Um, any meals on the island are completely paid for by my company. Uh, this is where I live. Motions over this way. And up ahead is the abandoned shrine that we all stay clear of. Okay, so we need to avoid the west because of the slaughter and the north because of the abandoned right. shrine. It's bad luck, yes. Okay. There is um, there is a creature that lurks in that area that we are all um, a little frightened of. What kind of creature? What kind of creature? <laughs> well, um, very few people have actually encountered it face to face. <laughs> they lean in almost conspiratorially. They uh they like they look around. It um it's said to move around, devouring the heads of all the gorgeous flowers of the island. It appears only at the late of night with dark, glowing eyes. And the air around it seems to sing and hum with an almost insidious energy. Oh no, she puts a hand to her mouth. As a gorgeous flower, I'm in danger. <laughs> Yori's face splits into a big smile, and that is why we stay away from the abandoned shrine. <laughs> well, we know it. <laughs> but yes, please come by the end later for some um, for some food. I'm sure you I ever mentioned had... you mentioned your company. Uh, are you in real estate? Oh, um, they, they sort of stop and think. Uh, I'm a part of the Tanagashima family. Um, we are. We're family in exile. Uh, it's sort of like walk in this direction, motioning with their head. Recently, um, my family's run into a little bit of 
bad luck in the good old Ranji. Mm. Um, my parents were caught conspiring against the court, and we lost our blessings mostly. They motioned to their they motioned to themselves. My job here has been to try to restore the family name. Um, by whatever means I can. Opening a port between Raoji and Windrose Lancia seems to be one of the better ways of doing this. Due to certain connections I have, I've been given special permission to do so. They sort of turn around. So, this... This little port here is the last hope of my family, and it's the last hope of myself, so I'm hoping to turn it into something great. For example, right now, with some assistance, they motion over in this direction. <laughs> we are going to be creating a glorious gazebo. A gazebo, you say? Yes. No island would be complete without one. You know, I fancy myself a bit of an expert when it comes to such structures. <laughs> Oh, are you a gazebo constructor or a gazebo enthusiast? Enthusiast. I've never constructed one myself. Well, perhaps this could be your first chance that you could. I don't know what business brings you to this island, but as far as I'm concerned, we're all friends here. We help each other out. Of course. And I'm sure that this island is already quite lovely, and I think you're doing a great job. At least from what I can tell. Uh, they, they, their face splits into a big smile. I... <laughs> Glockdua, you are quite the flatterer. <laughs> I've been told. <laughs> start to move back over in this direction. Ah, um, that beach, uh, over there, that's the one we were talking about earlier. Motioning with their head back in the direction of the gazebo. It's best, it's best not to go in that direction, at least for now. Um, we'll get everything cleaned up by tonight, I assure you. <laughs> See, I haven't unlocked that area yet. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sure you could go over there if you really wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go take a look. I'm sure you'll love the sights. <laughs> Did you... Uh, he, he, like, turns over. He's closer to your age than mine. Did you do something to, like, piss him off? <laughs> no, I think I just have that effect on people. I don't know about that. You just you said it yourself. You're a precious flower. You're charming the you're charming the crap out of Iori right now. It's just that other guy. And look at how much little man likes you. Oh, do you think that he might, you know, be concealing feelings for me? Oh, maybe. <laughs> I mean, like William shrugs, like being that type of parent that is physically incapable of going like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, over here, Iori is talking to Socorro. What, um, what seems to be bothering you about our new arrivals? Uh, he he kind of like turns back over. Oh, nothing quite unusual. Rich blood with iron veins that pump through all this toxic, disgusting. He kind of like he like he got it gestures. When I told them about the shack, their biggest, most terrifying concern noise was about how small it was. <laughs> I understand your concerns, but look. They Precious motion up flowers. What a fucking joke. <laughs> they motion up to the monkey. Little man approves of them. They can't be all bad. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of stops and looks over at little man. I don't trust that monkey. <laughs> 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 come on, come on. It, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. They'll be a great addition. You were just complaining the other night that everybody around was getting kind of boring and stuffy. He, he, uh, <laughs> uh, he kind of turns over and like, and why would I want more? <laughs> <laughs> the two sort of catch up reuniting as uh, Iori motions up ahead. Well, this is the general store. Hold on, I'll I'll see if the count is in. Run up and disappear into it for a second, leaving you outdoors with Socorro. Count he turns Empire. around and stands a difference away. <laughs> so, um, what brings you to this island? <laughs> <laughs> let me, um, let me... <laughs> okay, 
Uh, that's that's a yeah sure. That's um, fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, he looks directly at you and uh... <laughs> business. I manage the island. It's my job to deal with people like you. I see. Well, you're doing a great job. I appreciate your glowing customer recommendation. <laughs> he he uh, looks across at William. So what are the Pietros doing here? <sighs> well, if you're just gonna come out and ruin the mystery like that, <laughs> I'm like rolls his eyes. We're trying to lie low right now. Could you not blow our cover? Uh, he kind of like uh, considers that. Well, it's against my job description to really blow anyone's cover here. Are you sure your stay will be as pleasant as you like it to be? Can I ask what a lawyer from Indigo is doing in the area? Uh, he, he kind of like turns over and is just like, well, quite frank, Indigo's a headache and I wanted a break. <laughs> I get paid quite yeah. a lot more money than I did having to deal with the empty night. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no, we're in the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> He, he turns over and then looks directly at both of them like, I want to get tired of selling guns. <laughs> well, Never. technically, we're not gun sellers, we're gun suppliers. <laughs> he he uh, <laughs> kind of looks over and is just like, oh, of course, that level of separation must help you sleep at night. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I don't sleep at night, so... <laughs> yeah, we've got it all figured out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's about that time that from inside <laughs> boy, let's see. I think it's Oh my god, yeah. Let's do uh let's do this one. Someone sort of um <laughs> someone comes out. In fact, the person who exits the building is, well, first of all, he already travels ahead, moving in, but the person that follows them is someone who can only be described as pretty cool. <laughs> hey, stand gang, where's the new kids at? Oh, there they are. He runs on over. He immediately pops over and goes and expects you. It is a ah, thing. Oh, what? He kind of like turns over and like adjusts his glasses for a second and he's like like ah no vampire what are you talking about he kind of sneaks on by he like kind of like stretches his arms out look the sun touches me isn't it beautiful <laughs> sunglasses i on. glimmer and glow oh yes i don't <laughs> like the sun in my eyes he kind of goes over howdy partner how you doing <laughs> oh finally somebody who speaks my language <laughs> <laughs> that is you want to um, who are you Glock 201 guns. Pleasure to meet you. Who are oh, excellent. Oh, you're meeting Count Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I run the general store here. I do many things. And you, you, what do you do? Um, we're adventurers. Oh, adventuring, yes. Yes, yes oh. Glock 201 has quite the reputation. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of good adventuring gear inside my store, if you'd like to take a look. I, I'm sure I'd love to at some point today. <laughs> but we're actually just getting in. Oh, you're just getting in. He kind of like, uh, he, <laughs> Bretta, he like arm wrapped around, just starts walking you forward. And it's like, tell me, have you seen the hot springs? Have you seen uh, the shrine? It's really wonderful. I saw the hot springs. I'm really excited. Yeah, you're a bit like late I've to see the them. pig. <laughs> What is this about a pig slaughter? <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Around after midnight. Oh, by the way, at midnight to about midnight to 1 a.m., everything on the island goes silent, completely and utterly. It's pretty crazy, but around that time, a pig went off running and got slaughtered. Maybe it was the shrine demon, who knows? I'm sure it's nothing to concern yourself about, and if you are so worried, you can come buy a torch from my place and have it as a little nightlight, you know? <laughs> Interesting. Some sort of dark hour. <laughs> a dark hour. Oh, yes. Watch out for vampires. I heard they live on this island. He ribs you in the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if there's anything you want to know, anything you want to see or you want to get, let me know. It's on the house. Even the first purchase you make at my shop, I'll make it free. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> he kind of rips you on the shoulder again and steps back a bit. So where are you going? Where are you going next? 
We're going to our, our accommodations. Oh, the little shack? <laughs> mm, the little shack. Ah, uh, love that place. Love that place. I took a look once. Don't tell, don't tell the Pietro family. <laughs> oh, I'll make sure I don't. Oh, good. Thank you. I know my secret's safe with you, Glocktua. <laughs> Trust me, Glocktua is no snitch. He, he, with one finger in either hand, it, he adjusts, he adjusts the glasses by the brim with one finger on each hand a bit, and then kind of like naturally flicks them in a finger gun as he's just like, well, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> hey, watch where you're aiming that thing. <laughs> <laughs> he, he fires them up in the air like wildly before he's like, oh, what a wonderful day. New friends. I got a good <laughs> feeling about you, Bloxia. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you got a really good energy about you, kid. You too, Count. <laughs> mm, mm, he kind of does. Please. He turns around. He lowers his eyes for a second. You see a glimmer underneath of these dazzling, wonderful eyes that you could get lost in. Just call me cool. <laughs> We're moving so fast. <laughs> so Kuro just kind of like, oh, there's two of them now. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> Uh, Yori walks so over. Cool. He was pretty cool. Hey, do you think I'd look good in sunglasses? Yeah, you even have a mustache. Oh, yeah, that's a look. Come on in, big guy. I've got glasses for sale. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. Hold on. Uh, Yori, like, kind of, kind of semi-pained expression is like, well. The Count is delightful, as you can see. I love this island. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Any excuse to, um... Well, are you planning on staying? Uh, at least for the time being. I think we're on our way somewhere, but... I I'm, I'm sure that we could spend a little bit of time here. <laughs> sort of thinks about that, like, rubbing their chin. Okay. Well, if you stay for a bit and then you wind up leaving, please recommend this to the rest of the world. <laughs> Everyone, um, they stop and over, uh, look over at Socorro, who, like, flashes them a rather hardened gaze. Well, there are some nasty rumors circulating about this place abroad. It'd be nice yeah. to have some nice ones to counteract that. What kind of rumors? Um, well, that the island is uninhabitable. First of all, oh, it looks quite habitable. Thank you. I've worked very hard to make it so. And of course, the fact that it's, well, it's haunted. Mm hmm. And, and the pig slaughter. And the pig slaughter, yes, a little bit. Um, and as this, as this mention of, well, it's haunted, you, Bretta, you're, you're like, the hairs on the back of your neck perk up as you, you sense something around you. You're being watched, and then you look up, and you're like, oh, it's Little Man, thank God. <laughs> but then <laughs> you feel the presence of other eyes. Something is shuffling and shifting in the bushes. And you see something sticking out the top of it? <laughs> what the fuck are those? <laughs> uh, is, that a, is that a carrot bush? <laughs> but... The carrot bush shifts, and you feel you feel it focusing intently on you. <laughs> I approach the carrot bush. You you walk towards the carrot bush. What do you do? You look at the carrots. Yeah, those look like hmm. They look kind of like carrots. <laughs> They're sticking out of the bush. They appear to be carrot adjacent. Yuri's like just watching this, like oh. Weird. Yuri, okay. are these carrots for eating or just for decoration? You, you turn your head for a second as someone slowly rises out of the bush behind you. A gigantic figure dwarfing even your own. They tower down over you. <laughs> <laughs> a carrot man. <laughs> she, she, she looks over at you. And 
her uh her large eyes blink a few times almost like trying to trying to figure out exactly what's going on with you they she tilts her head then looks and then reaches out her hand and grabs yours uh Look hello for a second <laughs> i'm glocktua nice to meet you uh i assume you're not named carrot bush <laughs> It's it's nice to meet you, Glocktua. My name's Heiji. Uh, you should leave this island right away. Oh, are you the person who's supposed to warn me of the oncoming terrors that this island will bring? <laughs> <laughs> her expression suddenly, her eyes go wide, face blank. That was exactly my plan. Oh, please do. <laughs> I really like how tropey this island is. It really appeals to me specifically. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yuri takes a step forward. Maybe, maybe not so much with the new guests. She hasn't even had time to settle in. All the better. If your stuff is still packed, please take it away. This island's dangerous. At night, a dark miasma rolls over the landscape. It curtains this island, um, like a like a curtain. <laughs> she gestures with these long, like, I, I, these long wrapped arms, like, around at the various buildings. Iori starts rubbing their forehead. Mm. She has yes. such a way with words. She, uh, she takes it upon herself to warn all of the newcomers to the island about the dangers here. Um, but I'm sure our good friend Glocktua would not have arrived without knowing the various dangers of Steel Gold Island, right? Of course not. The, the, two <laughs> gun, the one gun family is always up for a good mystery. Maybe I can fix your problems. Wow, you really lie like a hair trigger, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Heijin sort of shakes her head very lightly. I've been trying to purify this island for a few weeks now. Yori, Yori thinks about that. A few weeks? That's before we even arrived. <laughs> and she looks at you dead in the eyes, like almost, uh, almost pupils dilating. And I haven't had any luck, even with my unique expertise. I don't know. You're, you said you're purifying the island. Are you from the haunted shrine to the north? She thinks, and then looks back over to the north. Yes, I do live in that area. Oh, see? It doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> you live over there. I was curious where you got off to. Hold on. Hold on a second. What were you doing in this bush? <laughs> he sort of leans in. This is the bush right outside my room. <laughs> like, looks up and over there. I was grabbing a quick snack. I see. <laughs> Yori kind of shuts down, looking around at all of the flowers that have had their heads bitten off. I see you're a vegetarian as well. Y yes. <laughs> I think I think we found the shrine demon that's been eating I all of our flowers. Come, come on. He come kind on. of steps up and then he he pulls her out from the horn over to the side <laughs> and just kind of drags around. It's like, we're going to have a talk about private property <laughs> right now. <laughs> as you as you pick her up, a bunch of flowers just dump out. Yeah. Touching down on the ground around her, she blinks a few times. Uh, Socorro literally starts dragging her away. <laughs> they, said, they said that everyone on the island was friends, and this is all our Rule property. Number one, everyone has a right to their own private property. Beware That's a standard my... that is established, and he just starts Traveler, going off! Traveler, beware my warnings! <laughs> 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 well, it's a beautiful flower. I feel safer already. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Iori just blinks at that. Well, that's one of the island's great mysteries, Saul. Come on, I'll show you to... Oh, wait, where did your father get off to? Ah, coming, coming, coming. Hold on, I got I got lots of stuff from the shop. That great, the place is great. <laughs> <laughs> well, without any further ado... Oh, no. Let's... 
show you your place of residence. <laughs> they motion behind them out to a big open beach. I'm so excited to get settled in. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually pretty tired. Boats take it out of me. Yeah, I, I, I haven't been on a boat in a long time, I don't think. I think it's been so long since I've even been out of the city. Yeah, last time was seeing, uh, what was it, the Camellia family, or was it Feathers Landing? Which came first? Which came first? You eating, you forcing that kid to eat a centipede, or you, uh, terrorizing that man with the parasol? Hmm, it must have been the centipede. Yeah, I think it was the centipede. <laughs> that, was in the, that was in the hell period. Yeah, uh, well, both of them were. <laughs> it's probably for the best that Mother got me out of that. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like shaking its head back and forth. Uh, now I cause no trouble to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you come out onto a gigantic beach. She's got stars in her eyes. <laughs> this beach is so big. It's so fucking big. Listen, there had to be room for activities. Yes. There's room for so many activities. <laughs> volleyball. Oh. We, we could do volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> he already sort of travels ahead and uh, like emotions. I believe this is Pietro Manor, as it was called. Oh, you have to... upgraded from shack to manor. <laughs> yes, uh, well, compared to the rest of the island, it is a mansion, so <laughs> they, they sort of tap the side, and yeah, it says Pietro Manor on the side. Uh, I'm going to admit, this place has a certain charm to it. I'm glad we decided to come here. Yes, I'm glad you decided to arrive as well. Your presence will add a certain light to the proceedings. I hope you enjoy your stay on Steel Gold Island, and if you need anything, please, come see me in town. Yuri smiles at you. We'll be in touch. And then takes a step back this way. And then sort of stops. Thanks for a second. Well. Hmm. And similarly, if anyone here Theoretically speaking, would have any expertise around money, development, or how to run an island, or hell, merchantry in general, I could certainly use the help. I'm a little like, inexperienced on my end, and if you were harboring any skills such as that, I could certainly use your assistance in developing this island into the bustling port I want it to be. Well, while I have no experience in building gazebos, I do have a bit of experience in running a business. Hmm. They and then leaving it promptly. <laughs> they take a step forward and smile. Well, I'll be looking forward to your assistance, Glocktua. If you ever need... If you ever want to stretch your brain during vacation, please, come by my office. I do enjoy a good brain stretch. <laughs> they smile, wave, and wander away. And uh, your father kind of like looks at you. Well, I guess that's a form of training in its own right. You weren't yeah. always you weren't always just about fighting. It was always about uh, becoming president of the world, right? President of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that that was a thing that I wanted to be. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's our first vacation in ever, but I'm getting kind of nostalgic. I do feel a bit younger already. <laughs> Maybe it was the sleep. <laughs> you go into. Pietro Mansion. And it's... Yeah, it's small and homey, though. Oh, look at this place. Ships around. Yeah, after a little bit of cleaning, I'm sure that we can make this habitable. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You know what? We should actually... Hold on. I've tackled this all in completely the wrong order. We should... We should start our vacation right, you know? What do you have in mind? Uh, he, he walks forward and extends to you all of the random shit he bought in Count Cool's shop. Oh, random things. Yes. Here, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wait outside first. Uh, you, you, no, actually, hold on. No, no, I will, yeah. 
Uh, you wait outside. I'm gonna get changed really quick. Then you can get changed. Vacation okay. starts now. Vacation starts now, after I leave and come back. Yes, because I have to change. Make sure Little Man doesn't watch. Okay, I will make sure Little Man doesn't watch. <laughs> you, uh, you walk That's outside. Out, you walk, you wait outside for a little bit, and give it enough time, uh, eventually... Eventually, your father comes out. Let's do this one. And this, of course, is where you get your swimsuit reveals for the most important characters. <laughs> the most <laughs> important <laughs> swimsuits. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. This is something grand. <laughs> <laughs> From inside, a man slowly opens the door. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and you watch as your father... We get what we deserve. ...walks into the warm summer air. <laughs> How oh. do I look? <laughs> you look fantastic. <laughs> That's Is that right. a pineapple on your head? Uh, yes. It's, it's you know, I'm incognito right now. Nobody Smart. knows that. Nobody knows I've got the P good old Pietro one horn. Right now, I'm just Johnny Two Guns. The Pineapple Man. Yes. And you have cool sunglasses. Yes, also, I found another gun while I was in there. Hey, <laughs> trust it's our make? Of course! <laughs> so it's just money back into your own pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Johnny Two Guns guarantee, baby! <laughs> he looks over here. Okay, your turn. Okay. Um, I trust that you picked out something equally as nice for me? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Just hope Come I on. don't look like a bowl of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you, Bretta, you go inside as, uh, Johnny Two Guns converses with a little man about business over the <laughs> side. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, from inside, he emerges. Good old Glock to a two guns. I look like a bowl of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, wow! Class. Look at you! You look gorgeous! I, I guess it's good that we match. <laughs> I need to give you now. Your legs. <laughs> oh, my legs. Uh, the, the, the hat is a nice touch. I didn't want to catch too much of a tan. <clears throat> Uh, he, he nods. Yeah, it's like, the second I put on this pineapple, I immediately started tanning. It's like it's giving out some form of radiation. <laughs> yeah, you look great. You get a Thank great tan. I just turned green. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, uh, you get that for mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he like, he stops and he looks around. Wow, we should probably find something to do. After all, it's the start of your big vacation. And Bretta, as you exit, you can feel it. That's right. It's the start of your big vacation. <laughs> you feel your body radiating with vacation energy. Bretta, for now, you're on break. You're not Bretta Pietro. You're Glock to a two guns. <laughs> <laughs> for the immediate, all of your gifts will be discarded. Everything will be put aside. Into the trash. You'll be focusing on your brand new character sheet. A character sheet reserved specifically for vacation. You have three stats, Beretta. First of all, the most important stat of the vacation. Your red stat. Fun. Your blue stat. Sightseeing. And your yellow stat. Relaxation. <laughs> By performing various vacation activities, you will raise your stats from one to nine. Bretta, it is your goal to have the best summer vacation anyone has ever had. The best summer ever. <laughs> Allow me to take a second to rename your stats. And I to put us to the break screen every button night. <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. Good job, Brennan. Oh. Good job, everyone. This is so dumb. I love it. I'm, yeah. I'm having the best time. We're going through and naming all of the characters and coming up with their fake names and we're like, this is the dumbest shit we've ever done. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
it begins. You're gonna tell me Lil Man's name isn't really Lil Man. It's uh, Lil Man. Um, <laughs> Lil Man's true name is something that cannot be spoken by mortal yeah. tongue. By yes. human tongue. Yeah. Uh, Lil Man's rollable token isn't working. Oh. Oh <laughs> I, no. I tried to do it so many times. Let's see. Uh. It's fine if it doesn't just sits around break. We can just turn that on because <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> Let's see. Little I'm man gonna make his rolls. Yeah. I'm gonna see if little man works. I don't like that little man is secretly rolling in the background. Little man, why aren't you working? <laughs> little man, no. Oh, I see what's wrong. Wrong little man? Wrong little man, hold on. What? Allow me to deploy a different little man. D thank you, ev thank you everyone for your phenomenal contributions to this project. Yeah, oh, everything oh, looks so wonderful. good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I enjoy Lil Man very yeah. much. <laughs> Lil Man's my comfort character, Brennan. <laughs> it's, it's strange. It's almost like it's the most relevant to you. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Try try Lil Man now. Try Lil Man now. Try uh, Lil Man now. I, 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 let me see. Uh, I'd have to drag him out on the. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can. I can I can deploy it now. Okay. I uh, I I'm excited because I got I got glimpses of these characters back way long ago when yeah. they were still like in conceptual phases, and I got like concept art. So seeing like like seeing Count Pool's finished icon <laughs> compared to the concept art you sent me, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I thought my I thought my expectations were going to be subverted when I heard that he was a count. <laughs> Listen, who the fuck do you think we are? As hard as we can. We were coming up with the code name last night, and we're like, count, like count, cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Mm -hmm. ZZ Shin Guard. ZZ Shin Guard gets shot twice! <laughs> oh my god. Hey, there's already too many good moments. It's already too good. It's already perfect. Your well, summer hasn't even now. started yet. I know. <laughs> okay, let me, uh, do me a favor. While we're on break, roll some more dice for me. Give me 2d6 this time for random encounters. Okay. Okay. Coconut gun. Coconut <laughs> gun. Oh, okay. That one and that one. And then... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, um... Oh, no, it's you! Okay, that's fine. Uh, can you re-roll the four? Yes. Ah! I see! Okay, okay, it's those mm -hmm. ones. That's the sound I want to hear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to yep. grab a different computer, because, uh, yeah. roll 20 lags on this computer. I see, yes, mm -hmm. do so. Oh my god. Reloading. I, I need to, I'm, since they're grabbing your computer. I'm going to grab a drink. Do so. Everyone else should do the same. I went and got some food in the middle because I got really hungry suddenly. <laughs> I like everyone so far. I really I, like Iori. I, I like Iori a lot. I, I, I'm biased. They, they have an energy that's just like... Pouring cool water on my brain. It's just like, ah, oh, yes, nice. Else, I don't know how to say his name, but the lawyer guy. Oh, Socorro. Socorro is. He has hot boy energy. He does. <laughs> Sending hate to the shadow realm. <laughs> uh. I missed that part. What happened? What did he do? To <laughs> oh boy. Uh, hey, popped out of the bushes 
and was warning everyone about how dangerous the island was. And Socorro uh, decided to drag her away to give her a lecture on the status of uh, a private property. I'm going to put them... I'm going to put them somewhere. I think they've moved over to the hotel. Hey, or Socorro. Hey, and Socorro. She's grounded right now. <laughs> I'm so excited for them to see the hotel. Yeah, me too. I, I, I think I did a good job. I, I think, based on the characters that just spawned, more or less, I think they're headed over in that direction. Okay. Brennan can, of course, subvert, but, uh... uh. I'm back. Hey Christian, I had him roll encounters. Um, mm -hmm. uh, he got he got ZZ Shingard again. Excellent. <laughs> Did I hear that I get to see Auntie ZZ again? Yeah, you get to see Auntie ZZ again. Uh, Christian, just deploy her whenever you think is most apt. Okay. Me patiently waiting for for Brennan to to see the things that I made patiently. Yes. Patiently, <laughs> and by patiently, I mean extremely impatiently. Impatiently. <laughs> okay, there you are. Are you having fun? <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Well, I'm back. Matt. There we go. That should take care of it. Yeah. Are you on Google Chrome or Firefox? Um, well, for some, I don't know why, because on my strong computer, mm -hmm. Roll20 doesn't work on, I'm on Firefox. Okay. It doesn't work on anything. Mm -hmm. But, uh, on my weaker computer, it kind of works fine on Firefox, so. Yeah. Roll20 is the bane of my experience. Roll20 is weird. Uh, uploading icons and assets on Firefox makes them weird. While it works perfectly fine on Google Chrome, but Firefox runs uh, Roll20 okay. way better for me. So, but if you hit Alt in Firefox, it makes your screen flash. You can yeah, turn that off though. Because I, I, I me recording Lantern Shrine, the screen flashing constantly, me not knowing how to turn it off. Oh well, you guys just have to live with this now. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I turned that off immediately. Okay. I don't know how. I can show okay, you. Okay, Christian, you deploy ZZ Shin Guard whenever you're feeling it's apt. I see. Um, oh, you guys can place monkey whenever. I'll place monkey whenever. Yeah, place, you know, we'll just, we'll just freestyle. Zawa, Zawa, title screen ambush. <laughs> I got shot Boy, three times. Tactical <laughs> monkey. <laughs> We're about to go bananas. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've got to get, it's afternoon now. It's time for relaxing summer noises, cicadas. <laughs> I'm so appealed to. Um. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, okay. Everybody ready? Everybody good? I'm ready. Okay. So, Beretta, your your summer your summer sort of begins. Uh and as you make this <laughs> Oh boy. As you make this, like, grand declaration, you overhear noises, actually, almost immediately. I think it would be a little, um, perhaps dangerous to wander that far away from the settlement. Uh, someone, like, leading the charge, very purposefully walking, starts to charge ahead. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on. It'll be fine. We'll just gather up a few root vegetables, have a nice big dinner. No, 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 no. I think we should try to stay within the bounds of the settlement, Sorelia. And there is a sound as these three witness this one. She stops dead, thinks for a few seconds, and then immediately rushes over. Newcomers! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> there is a gigantic upset of fucking dust immediately behind her. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what a powerful foe. Yuri uh, he looks just beleaguered as he, like, comes over. Oh, yes. Uh, kind of waves. It's been all of five minutes. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I, I heard, I heard only good things about you. The Count speaks very highly of you. And your taste, is that a pineapple? <laughs> yes! 
<laughs> yes, oh. we are fruit people. <laughs> and you've got little man. <laughs> little man looks at this woman distrustfully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking note of that look from little man. <laughs> she she turns over and extends a hand. My name's Sorelia Camellia. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sorelia. Uh, my name is Glocktua One Guns. <laughs> nice to meet Glocktua. Wow, named after named after that hero of old. Of course, but a gun. <laughs> Very cool. And you are. My name's Johnny Two Guns. Nice to meet you, said Camellia, right? Yep. Hmm. I mean, we've met the Camellias before. No, we haven't. I think that the people who own the manor did. <laughs> Well, we're meeting one right now! <laughs> <laughs> William gets a big smile on his face. Oh, for a second there, I thought I um, might have met an old friend. Well, if you ever meet the people who run the manor, um, tell them that Sorelia was looking for them, okay? We'll be sure to do just that. Absolutely, yeah. No, we're just uh, two adventurers, right? Two mystery-solving adventurers. You wouldn't happen to know of any mysteries on this island, would you? <gasps> she turns over, spitting, hair floofing out behind her. There's lots of mysteries in this area. Did you hear about the shrine demon? I did. What about, um... What about the, uh... I hear there's, like, a kappa or something that lives out under the docks. Now you have my attention. <laughs> <laughs> William's That's like, the kind of low-level enemy that I am interested in seeing right now. Low-level, low level, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you hear a voice from behind you as uh, emerging out from the roof. <laughs> um, you hear a voice as, uh, with very little delay, wielding the blade, looking directly down upon you. <laughs> hey, Bretta. Oh, Roll the die for me. <laughs> <laughs> the ZZ is everywhere system. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, wait, I need to drop her swing really quick. There we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, she's liking that though. She's learning. <laughs> oh, but my stats are different now. Your stats oh. are different now. <laughs> oh, let's so, see what I, I, are you having I, fun, I, Greta? <laughs> You having yeah, fun like, yet, Tiff? Are you relaxed, having fun? Are you relaxing? Is this a sight to Is see? Is this a sight to see? Are you having fun yet? Uh... <laughs> I can't oh. get over this. This can't be happening. <laughs> lock. Okay. Lock, lock in something and roll, I guess. You lock in something and... Zizi, mm -hmm. you leap through the air and you hit her. But it's not a good one. <laughs> no, I don't. That is, oh, oh, oh. No, I don't. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, you guys aren't clashing. That can be for Beretta's reprisal in a second. Okay, okay. <laughs> ZZ, you hit her. And just silence descends. You're like, that wasn't even a good hit. Why can I... Why can I hit you now? Like, clearly yeah. this isn't the same person you were fighting mere minutes ago. Hey, Venbretta, what do you do? Well, empowered by the ability to see sights. <laughs> oh, yellow is relaxation. Oh, wait, I'm relaxing. Oh, yes. so because, I'm, because I am now in a relaxed state, the, the hit doesn't seem to impact the way it normally would on a rigid body. Her body kind of bends like water. <laughs> And how do you turn this back around on ZZ Shingard? And she teleports behind her and <laughs> fires her gun <laughs> at Bretta. point blank range. Bretta, you realize something. You're in your swimsuit. You don't have a gun. What do you do? Uh, I do use hold... my finger gun. Yeah, you hold it up. The sign of, oh, oh, I don't have a gun. I guess I'll use this finger gun. Butcher's Eisen. What a shameful thing. What a shameful defeat. Not even being bested by a real gun, but having a gun pointed to your back and being made to take it, to feel that shame. And that moment, Zizen, Zizen hasn't felt this in a decade. This feeling, not in so long. She drops her sword. I see. She kind of stops and turns around and looks at you. And she kind of bows her head a little bit. Miss, uh, 
<laughs> Miss Clockjaw? <laughs> yes, Auntie Zizi. She kind of bows her head. I would like to learn from you. <laughs> hey, hey, G GM, can little man steal the sword? Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, little man. She's like, what? No, no, no. She, <laughs> hang on. She goes, she goes after her sword, leaving the scene promptly. The she answer is the yes. Sword. I'll train you anytime you want. <laughs> wow. I'm glad to see she isn't causing you trouble. Um, in fact, you seem to be rather well equipped to handle yourself. Uh, that was quite an impressive move. Are you, are you some sort of a fighter? Um, no, just a just a mystery solver. See, I don't have any guns or anything. <laughs> she she points her finger gun. <laughs> Fascinating movements. Would you be interested in a spar? A spar? Okay, sure. I've had good luck so far. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. It's actually been a while. Um, I'm afraid I won't put up as good a fight as she would, but I I can actually use something to shake the rust off. Come on. They sure. sort of lead their way down this way. I am uh, actually captain of my school's judo team, so. It would be a good experience to practice some hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, you use judo? I use Aikido. <laughs> then this should be fun. <laughs> but I was actually more interested in, um, do you have a weapon or arm of choice? Yeah, um, a, a simple cooking knife. Simple cooking knife? Uh, Sorelia moves forward. Oh, I've got a knife on me. Throws one over to you. I you try to it. catch it. <laughs> Give me a roll to do. <laughs> <laughs> you like you like fumble it for a second and then. It's yeah. not nearly as cool as when she caught the gun. <laughs> uh, a knife. Um, do you want any sort of a longer form armament? I I tend to fight with a saber or rapier myself. Oh, do you have a sword? I've always wanted a sword. Uh, yes, actually. Um, they, they uh reach, like they reach behind themselves and. Hmm. Do you have a preference? I could keep this. I've got like what is functionally a cutlass, but I also, I was actually given a sword from Raoji a little while ago. If you'd prefer that. Well, I am from Raoji, oh. and I've always considered the katana to be somewhat of a close-range gun. <laughs> Uh, very insightful, I suppose. <laughs> they reach down, uh, and, like, uh, they, they, like, reach down, think for a second, I'll be right back. Give me a half of a second. Run over this way. These two over. Huh. You're making friends already. I, I, am I? I think I'm fighting everyone. <laughs> I mean, uh, it seems like that first lady is pretty set on you. Yeah, I, I, like... think I, I think I have a student. Yeah. Huh. Can you imagine? <laughs> to, to be to be studied by a legendary hero, that's quite the feather in my cap. <laughs> well, I guess you're already wearing the name of a legendary hero, so it makes sense that you're a little larger than life. That's a good point. Also, Nocto is going to be so impressed. <laughs> Yuri comes back over and throws you a sword. I try to catch it. <laughs> give, me, give me a roll to do again, Beretta. Yeah! You catch this easily and put it at your side. This is like... This is clearly like a merchant's blade. It is, um... If you had to guess, this was actually forged outside of Raoji. Huh. Huh. Interesting. It's, it's kind of It's kind of an interesting one. Oh, this one's got some story behind it. Uh, they sit and sort of prepare. They've got um, they've got what is basically like a fencing like foil. Well, if you don't mind, stand opposite me and we'll begin. Of course. <laughs> Luckily for you, I'm also the captain of my school's kendo club. <laughs> I sort of focus in. So in this instance, you guys are going to actually 
Uh, you're actually gonna drop swing and give me a roll to die to determine who goes first and with what with what number. Drop swing. Roll to die. Let's say. Let's do. Uh, let's keep it relaxed. Gonna stay relaxing. Bretta, regardless of how this goes, you're going to be able to level up one of your stats once for complete uh, for completing this event. You need to decide whether this was a a sight, a precious summer memory, a fun thing for you, you enjoyed yourself, or was it something that relaxed you to your core? These are your decisions. Oh, that actually works perfectly for them. Okay, uh, they are going to prep themselves, and uh, in a moment, they blink the space between them and you, sending up a curtain of sand behind them. They take one long step forward. You get the feeling if this was on floorboards, you can almost hear the clack that would have resounded up. This is just an intimidation tactic. Give me a roll to die versus this roll to do. Yeah! <laughs> we only roll threes ah! and lowers. <laughs> we only roll threes and ones. It's still quite enough for, for Iori to sort of whack you for one point on the side. Ah, one for me. They take a step backwards. Give me a roll to do versus their roll to die now. I acknowledge your point. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh the door rolls well in the side story. <laughs> right Narrate for me. Narrate for me your first time drawing a fucking katana. <laughs> Acknowledging the point that Ioria just scored on her, she kind of reaches towards her hip, almost as though it were she were doing a quick draw with her gun. And having never drawn a sword before, she does so the same way that she would pick up a revolver and spins it around and kind of Iedo cuts as soon as he approaches again. <laughs> this place hangs in the air for a moment, and Beretta, it's... It's just, it's just like chopping vegetables. You notice that they actually have to contort their entire body, like, slamming down into the ground to avoid being sliced. Oh, even for a spar, that's impressive. Um, it almost felt like you were about to take my head off. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> I think. That's, that's, that's very, very impressive. Um, are you, are you used to that weapon? Um, well, I am the captain of the school's kendo team, however, I am the only member of the school's kendo team, so it was a bit of a default <laughs> choice. <laughs> Understandable. Well, I'm happy to be a part of your club, at least for the afternoon. They restrain themselves. Uh, give uh, Drop and give me another... Uh, I want to see how many crits Bretta can score sequentially. <laughs> We're going to uh, keep going until by, it stops. <laughs> by this point, uh, the monkey comes back. Still holding the sword. He must have lost her. <laughs> Just an easy day's work for the little man. <laughs> Good work, little man. Okay, give me a, uh, yeah, give me a roll to die and then a roll to do. Um, I'm gonna go with... You know what? A clash sounds like fun. A clash... It's time for some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more fun than living on the edge. <laughs> Both of you raise your weapons, focus on them absolutely, and then charge. In an eye blink, all of it is resolved. Both of you roll to do. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Beretta, thunk! You're on the other side. Tell me how it happens. It's exactly how it should. She draws <laughs> quickly and she runs through them with a with a katana drawn to the air and then she resheaths it. Ah, oh, slice. Damn, you this feels this feels more natural than your gun actually. What the hell? This is bizarre. <laughs> She's you, honestly surprised. You haven't been on this on fire in a while. You remember firing through all those donuts? God, how they haunted you. But this blade this feels good. Iori, Iori, like, looks down at their, uh, their fencing foil, which then splits apart in their hands. <laughs> oh, oh, is that an heirloom? I can get you another one good. if not. No, 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 no. Um, this was, this was just a training foil. They, uh, they turn around and actually bow pretty deeply at you. Ah, uh, very, very impressed. Please, keep the sword. He bows in return. Thank you so much. <laughs> 
uh, they, uh, they, they sort of shake their head. No, 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 thank you for entertaining me. I, I'll admit I've gotten relatively bored of office work, so having a chance to sort of stretch my arms was very nice. And at the same time, it seems like I've dueled a legendary hero, so, uh... Well, not yet. <laughs> oh, is this the first step on your path? It might just have to be. <laughs> if not but... for your own sake. <laughs> well, I'm honored that you're thinking about me. <laughs> they, uh, they sort of wave over their shoulder. I hope you enjoy the island. I already am. <laughs> Brenna, what stat are you going to increase? That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. was fun, it, okay. It brought a smile to my face. <laughs> <laughs> Bretta, increase your red stat by one. I've got it for you. So yes, your red is now a plus one. And it's about that moment that um that uh Sorelia sort of scoots up to the side of you. That was incredible. Oh, uh, was it? It it really was. Um you uh how do I put this? It feels like you circumnavigated a storm just based on uh, attitude and panache alone. I can kind of respect that. Come on, let's go this way. She it's starts a beautiful flower in the breeze. Like a flower in the breeze. Come on. She's she's holding your hand and just pulling you. She's dragged. <laughs> Bretta, you are yanked in this direction. And Sorelia just starts, just starts fucking gunning it. And William's like, should I come with? Are you too good? Uh, I think I'm good. I have a sword. <laughs> You're you're dragged up in this direction, actually, and into the fucking woods. Well, I wasn't told not to go to the woods. <laughs> That's actually great, because I was told to go to the woods. Let's play this one. Oh, yeah, little man's going to take that rapier that was dropped on the ground. <laughs> uh, of course. He, Two blades. Uh, thieving little monkey. I wonder where <laughs> this personality is based on. <laughs> <laughs> Only after my favorite person. <laughs> Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's a monkey. What do you expect monkeys to do? Eat a banana. <laughs> <laughs> I have three Soap stats, banana. Brennan. You want to know my three stats? Banana. Screaming hands and banana. Those are my three stats. <laughs> Is your yellow step banana? Because yeah. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. You come out into maybe the best map I've ever made. It's really good. So good. <laughs> really good. And you start to run up this way. Cerulea continues to just drag you bodily in this direction. Uh, am I being kidnapped? Uh, no, probably not. Okay. You're helping. We're, you're helping me. Of course. With what? Uh, I was told to actually gather a bouquet of flowers. And I'm the flower? <gasps> she thinks about that for a second. You know what? That's brilliant. Okay, I'll present you along with all the other flowers. Uh, she- well, you can cover me in them. I'll be beautiful. <laughs> That's honestly adorable. You two <laughs> start to run up, and looking to either side, you see- Modern tech? It's overgrown in the woods here, but yeah, that's certainly some modern tech. Where um is it? It's like, that almost looks like cables meant to carry electricity across the island. There you, is no electricity. Yeah, there's no electricity here. She continues dragging you up the stairs, and you notice, stamina wise, she's still just going and running and running and going. Uh, give me a roll to die. <laughs> Oh, you managed to keep up just fine. Good. <laughs> uh, as I she... did do a couple of push-ups before I fell asleep on that boat. <laughs> You're feeling well put together. Sorelia hops over this tiny little, like, divot, and you, you manage to make your way up to the very top, a set of stairs that tower over the rest of the island, and immediately to your left, you see overgrown here. Is that a cell phone receiver? It's so weird. It's completely overgrown, and Sorelia starts to, like, poke around. <sighs> okay. I thought the prettiest flowers would be up at the top of the cliff, but it doesn't look like that's necessarily the case. 
Yeah, I half expected the prettiest flowers to be on this giant metal tower. <laughs> uh, Sorelia, like, looks back over to it. Hmm. That's... It's strange that that's here. Do you know what that is? Uh, yes, I do. Do you? She shakes her head. No, unfortunately not. I've spent the last few years over in Harlow. Do I have my phone on me? You do. I pull it out. Whoa, you've got one of those? Yeah, um, I know a guy. <laughs> Leans in, looking at it pretty closely. It doesn't find any reception here. No, I didn't think so. But what that tower is, is it's actually a receiver so that I could communicate with somebody else with one of these on the other side. Whoa, they tried to bring... They tried to bring that stuff here. Huh, awfully ambitious, actually. I gotta hand it to them. They said that this island was uninhabitable... It seems that somebody was here before. Oh, you've heard the rumors too? No, I haven't. I just deduced this. If logic oh, okay. and reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm actually here because I'm kind of interested in what's happening on this island for exactly that reason. They said that this place was supposed to be completely uninhabitable. She walks over to the uh, sort of edge of the cliff, the brilliant sunshine dancing away underneath the two of you. But, if, um, my research, she taps the side of her nose, is to be believed, then this island, there have been multiple attempts in the past to settle on this island before. All have failed? All have failed. Are you one of those ghost chasers? I thought you were going to ask me if I was a ghost. <laughs> are you? Um, no, but... I won't discriminate if you are. <laughs> Have you met many ghosts before? No, but I know a few dead people. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How fascinating. Um, she, like, looks out over the island. I'm not a ghost chaser. Uh, well, I'm a member of the Camellia family, and it is my job, first and foremost, to ensure that this endeavor succeeds. We actually right. owe yours. She says that she right. knows that she's being lied to. <laughs> 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 we actually owe Yori's family a great deal, so I figured I'd return the favor to some extent. But if it's going to wind up as another disaster, just like all the other ones, um, well, I'll do everything I can to prevent that from happening. Well, if they plan to build a gazebo here, then I'm going to have to make sure to help as well. <laughs> she smiles. Well, here's to helping the island. And she kind of leans in, and for a second, uh, Brona, give me your roll to do. Roll? Hmm. When are we going to have roll to don'ts? Roll <laughs> to don't. I've had roll to donut. Yeah, you sure have. Yeah. Roll right. to do, you said? Yeah, hit me with a roll to do. Okay, that's, yeah, no, that's still, that still beats hers. And, uh, yeah, you, um, you, like, as she, like, reaches out a hand, you're like, yeah, clearly I'm being lied to by this person. Uh, she, like, there is the slightest hint of something extending from Sorelia. Um, and you feel, you feel the vibe sort of shift a little bit. Nice to meet you as well, Beretta Pietro. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if we're going to be honest with each other, uh, I don't know if you heard earlier, but I'm no snitch. <laughs> I appreciate that greatly. I'm just curious what you're doing on the island. Probably not looking to support the place, right? Not unless people here want to buy guns. I mean, I'm not particularly interested in the selling of guns on this island. Hmm. I kind of burnt my inheritance on the way out. Wait, hold on. You burnt your inheritance, what? Yeah, I kind of did a couple of things kind of hastily. It was not hastily hastily. I had a big grand plan, and I'm sure it's working out on the other side, but <laughs> I'm kind of here waiting to see if that happens. But Although I am a little bit nervous because I kind of left the plan in the hands of some, somewhat of a brute. But you don't, you, don't have, you don't have any money, though. Me? Particularly? No. My dad? He's still doing fine. <laughs> oh, you were gonna rob me. I was thinking about it. <laughs> well, luckily for you, I'm no snitch. 
<laughs> Walks back and forth, just making grunting, just agonized noises. I wasn't aware that the Camellia family was doing so poorly that they'd need to stoop, stoop to common thievery. Not a Camellia? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. She moves back over and just, like, sags slightly. So what are you doing here if you're broke, Ben? Is, is everybody on this island's broke, it turns out? Oh, not my dad. If you want to rob him, I'm sure you can get a couple of bucks. <laughs> you would, you'd honestly say that about your own father. That you could rob my dad? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I might help you. <laughs> <sighs> Her brain flatlines for like seven and a half seconds, and you, you just, can you give me another roll to do? <laughs> okay, uh, let me let me let me give her a roll to uh, roll to die. So it's, yours. it's not a. Uh... <laughs> Hold on. It ain't rolling. Uh, oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Ten. Oh, Bretta needs to roll a d6, though. Oh, yes. Roll a d6 as well, Bretta. Oh, d6. Three. Oh, just enough. That's eleven. <laughs> you feel like you feel like you sense a presence behind this outer exterior that's just like... <laughs> <laughs> and then her smile turns back to you. 100% as clear as day. Just... I'll keep that in mind. I get the feeling that this vacation just got a lot more exciting. <laughs> Can't hurt him, though. I do of love course. him. I, 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 yeah, of course not. I wouldn't hurt him. Really, I... <laughs> just, what kind of a person are you? You just said I could rob your dad. Well, he would be so rich, you wouldn't even notice. <sighs> kind of like when we used to play cops and robbers when I was a kid. I see. <laughs> well, I used to steal the money then, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Hold on. I was just going to leave you here, but, uh, no, 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 no. You, I, I, I get to, you get to see my secret spot now. Come on. <laughs> just let's try to <laughs> And you wind up going deep into the woods now. I was scouting this place out, and, you know, I thought this could be a nice little hideaway. But here we are. What do you think this is? Hmm. Let me zoom out and see. <laughs> is this the remains of a building? I think it is. Who would have maybe built a something? stadium? Yeah. Who would have built something so big, right? Oh, maybe they played baseball here. Wait, you know baseball? Do I know baseball? Of course. I'm the oh, captain man. of my school's baseball team. <laughs> <laughs> well, funny story. I spent about three years pretending to be Hideo Fumikaze, and for some reason, he has a reputation as a baseball champ, so I had to learn how to play fast. Oh, wow. I met him once. You're definitely not him. <laughs> <laughs> she, she smiles and starts to walk into this big open stadium and gestures around. So, this is... This is going to be my secret fort. Um, you need to find me anytime. Please drop by. I know I will be counting on your help in the future. Of course. Just make sure you don't try and rob me in the middle of the woods again. I'm, I'm not going to try to rob you in the middle of the woods. Come on. Your money's not even here. Good point. <laughs> not even worth robbing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I can't rob you anymore anyway. Come on. Let's go. She starts to drag you again. You notice... She kind of likes being dragged because it takes away the the thought of I'm traveling. <laughs> it's, it's like she's fast traveling. Yeah, no, this... You find yourself sort of like dragged behind the bus that is Sorelia, and as you go, you almost... You almost feel a presence emanating through the warm summer air. Almost like eyes masked from view are still watching you, even as you go. A figure shifts slightly from the top of this great structure and then disappears 
back into the brush. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't little man. <laughs> that wasn't little man at all. <laughs> so seriously, are you here to hunt ghosts? Yeah, I'd love nothing more than to hunt ghosts. Ghosts. Okay. Well, how about we make a deal then? Oh. You? Hmm. Well, you already broke, you said. And Yori doesn't have any money. Your dad's got some money. But at the same time, she's like, she's thinking pretty hard about this. And like, uh, you see, you see thought after thought turning over in her head. Um... You know what? I kind of feel like doing some honest work. Okay. If I help you find out what's going on with these ghosts, maybe we hunt a few of them, you can give me a nice fat reward at the end of this, okay? I can or... make sure that somebody gives you a nice fat reward. That's what I was hoping for, actually. The face splits into another big smile. <laughs> and you but be... I need to know who I'm addressing that check to. <laughs> she sort of sighs and takes a step forward well here's the thing my name's actually Sorelia that part's not a lie oh, I don't have a last name. name oh thank you uh, she sort of smiles last name's nothing I'm a pirate ah oh, cool <laughs> yeah I thought I thought I was going to be robbing some famous gun merchants today no. Was the whole thing about the bouquet of flowers a lie, too? Oh, hmm. I was trying to find some way to cutely finesse it into, like, oh, I found the most beautiful flower of all anyway, and then motion to you. But at the same time, I feel like I'm beyond that. Yeah, that was a lie. <laughs> I was hoping to be adorned. <laughs> you know what? Let's do that. Sounds like fun. <laughs> She sort of starts to, like, run ahead and goes, Hey, Beretta! There's lots of flowers down here! A flower pit? <laughs> and as you walk down, Lan slips away behind you, and you begin to walk, eyes cast over the wide, uh, over the wide open island. You can sense some things sort of off in the area, but at the same time, your vacation is just now properly beginning, you feel. You've made a new friend question mark <laughs> you're working your way down through the island and you spend actually the next 45 minutes talking with someone who just admitted to your face that she was trying to rob you that she was a pirate and both of you innocently just pile you high with flowers from the woods. <laughs> it's like, it's the funniest thing you've ever experienced. If your brain was always going 99 miles an hour in indigo, it feels like it just shut off to some degree here. You, almost acting mostly on instinct, you've managed to navigate your way around a potential robbery and also multiple sword fights. <laughs> what? What is this built-in instinct? But... <laughs> Beretta, this sensation that you're feeling right now, it can only be called one thing, truly and completely. Relaxation. You're trusting your intuition. I'm bumping up your yellow stat by one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. And it's around this point. Right here. Come back to this area. Sorelia continues to drag you. This is this continues to happen for a while, and uh, she pulls you actually into the hotel. Yank, yank, yank. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is this is made by Roma. In me, <laughs> I, I'm and, and Aloha. Of course, I'm so Good sorry. Good job, Roma. It always only. happens. It, it always, always happens. happens. <laughs> she yanks you up here and. Uh, a rather small woman behind the counter like looks up. Hey, uh, whoa. Leans in. Preta Pietro, it's been a while. Oh, wow. She knows the secret too? I guess everybody knows the secret. What's the point of a fake name? <laughs> I'm wearing a hat. Usually when I wear a hat, people can't tell who I am. 
Have you ever tried changing your hair, maybe? Not a bad idea. It might help. <laughs> I don't know. Like, change change the makeup. I don't, we could work on it. You could probably disguise makeup, yourself. You'll see right. how tired I am. <laughs> the lady behind the counter is just like, uh, yeah, so how can I help either of you? Oh, we brought you a bouquet. Motions over to Bretta, who is covered in flowers. Her arms are out. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, actually. Um, well, uh, welcome to my inn. Um, my name's Amaranth. Uh, nice to properly meet both of you. Uh, hold on, are you supposed to be undercover or something? Yeah, I'm on the run from the mob. Okay. Uh, you take a look at, you take a look at, uh, Amaranth. You've seen this small person once or twice before. They're I a friend of Bond's. They're, uh, they're with the Tide. What are you doing here? Uh, I kind of ran away from Indigo post the Empty Night. I didn't really want to deal with the whole Tide being cops thing. Their face yeah, it kind of sucked. <laughs> so, I wandered around for a bit and I'm trying to start life here. This port has a future ahead of it, I think. Come on, come on, I'll show you around. <laughs> it's over in this direction. Uh, you overhear a conversation in this room. <laughs> <laughs> as as uh, Sicario um, has uh, collected a book and placed down over on the side and is now making her sign contracts. <laughs> <laughs> don't think I should sign these. Why not? Don't trust a lawyer's advice. I... <laughs> Uh, no, normally I have people help me out with something like this. Oh, I am helping you. So why don't you sign me? <laughs> I've explained it in detail. I'm normally not supposed to make calls like this without direct assistance. As I told you, I am your direct assistance. Let's sign this contract so we don't have a problem. Uh, she leans in. What does this one say again? I'm still struggling with my land ah, a little bit. Of course. Um, this oh, one. <laughs> uh, he he uh, leans forward. Well, this one's quite simple. All it does is make sure that you are, of course, signing over any ownership. Or it more makes sure that there's no ownership dispute, so there's not a problem in the future. Ownership? What would I not be owning or owning? Well, the island, of course. I. You never had claims for the island. <laughs> <laughs> tilt said to the left, tilt said to the right. Of course, this place isn't my home. Excellent, then sign here. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there a contract that I could sign that can maybe help me go home? Of course. He, uh, he, uh, <laughs> this one, after all. The first step of going home is admitting that this isn't your home. <laughs> <laughs> I hate lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> she quietly signs whatever contracts you put in front of her. <laughs> Thank you. He picks them up, stands up, and just leaves. <laughs> I feel like the true evil of this island is behind doors. <laughs> uh, Amaranth sort of leads you in. There's like a wide selection of different, like, uh, almost trophies animal carcasses like the googly eyes <laughs> yeah it reminds you of somewhere did you hunt a googly mammoth <laughs> no uh i just uh i just like them <laughs> she motions over to the googly eyes yeah it does make it feel a little bit less dark <laughs> that you're you know carrying around the carcass hey socorro mm, he turns around stops half opening a door you, yes. You done in the uh, dining room? We're going to have dinner soon. Yes. We should be quite done. <laughs> okay. You going into the hot springs? He, uh, not myself. I need to pick something up. Yori left his things here again. He steps right. through the door. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay. Well, that's Socorro. Have you met him? Yeah, we've met. We're good friends already. He's very nice. He's very, very nice. He's not. <laughs> and around that time, the door just actually sort of um, bumps open. Someone else 
wanders into the room. Mm. Their expression sort of intense is the best way to describe it. They they look at uh <laughs> they look at the two of you. Uh, hi. Um uh he sort of like starts to move past. It's interesting. This person's body seems to be adorned with almost magic devices. In fact, if it's funny, it's like you changed settings entirely. This person's <laughs> this person's look and vibe feels like they are straight out of a magic university. Um, well, this is uh and he takes a step forward. My name is uh, crap. Um, he almost starts to say one name, beginning with an M. You think? Uh, my name is uh, Tough Weakman. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded to me like you were going to say something else. Yeah, it almost sounds like you let your other names slip. No, that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> sort of bubbles off to the side. I only have the name that I was told to say on this island. <laughs> and who told you that you were both tough and weak? My master. <laughs> weak men, you're in my way. <laughs> Takes a step off to the side as Sakura moves past. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is that the reverence that one would hold for a master? <laughs> My master, um, he said, wear this name for a bit, Lilo. And, uh, he'd be back to pick me up when the time was right. Not sure when the time necessarily will be right. <laughs> How long has it been? Uh, Amaranth turns over. He was one of the first people on the island, actually. Like... He's been here a little less long than me. He's been staying here ever since. Honestly, I kind of feel bad for the guy. Kind of like a dog that got left. You say that and like, you say that and the expression just is like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, yeah, sure. Just sitting here waiting for my master. It's, it's whatever, huh? Uh, if you want to use the hot springs, go ahead. Uh, sort of like gestures back with his head. Starts to move over here. Hmm. That well, one if has... you're lonely, you're welcome to join us. I, uh... I... No. <laughs> <laughs> Muttering moves away, and, uh, Amaranth, like, looks over. He has some special considerations with his body. I didn't even know he could interact with the hot springs. It's interesting that he was trying. He's, um... He's got kind of a tough exterior, but I think he's a but good person. But you think that he's probably. a weak man at the core? Mm, honestly, no. <laughs> she says, well, looking it's over... Stomer, then. There is a lot of magic power constantly radiating from him, and it's a little worrying. Uh, if only there was a place that he could learn how to hone it. Yeah, if only. This is not my problem, though. <laughs> Amaranth, like, moves up and over. Well, if you want to use the hot springs, please go ahead. We're going to get to cooking, okay? Yeah, I really want to use the hot springs. I feel like I was denied the ability to use the hot springs before. <laughs> okay, well, um... Oh, over here. She grabs you, yanks up this direction. I love being yanked! <laughs> Really? Most people say it's really frustrating. No, it's actually not bad. I can just shut off my brain and I go with the wind. Call me the bottom. <laughs> you can't call Britta a bottom. <laughs> She's so not a bottom that she enjoys it right now. <laughs> you, you take your time and Britta, given, given enough time, um, you move. Into the hot springs. <laughs> All of the things that I made are getting shown off at once. Yep. <laughs> I hope. Give me what I want. Let's see. Let's do, um. Let's do. 
this one. This one's mm. pretty good. Do you guys hear that? <laughs> what? The dunk, 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 dunk. Oh. No. Oh. That's ominous. Let's see. It's the sound of endless summer aroma. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Christian. He is muted Pre right now. Prepare yourself. <laughs> ah, I see. Um, counter proposal. Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, that's a good counter proposal. Yeah. I will fight my aunt naked in the hot spring. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Come out into the hot springs. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> Remember when I said I hand drew you a map? Did it real map? You uh, you you sort of come out into the open space. Sorelia splashes down before you. <sighs> okay, that's good. After a whole bunch of running. Yeah. I also ran, and then the first thing she does is she just like steps off and goes face down like a dead bug. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 Beretta, come on, come on, come on. Don't, uh, head above the water. She like oh. yanks you up. No, no, they took my pool away. <laughs> <laughs> they took, hold on, they took your what? <laughs> I can't, I, I don't have access to my pool. You don't have access to your pool anymore. So you're just gonna drown yourself in the first pool you found? No, I can hold my breath for a really long time. Oh, okay, me too, actually. <laughs> uh, is it a competition? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Bring it on, rich girl. <laughs> I'm poorer than you know. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> she, she moves over. Both of you, give me a roll to die. And then a roll to do. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, she she gets her actual stats in this. Yeah, she's yeah I'm gonna have to relax to make sure I don't overextend myself. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and give me a. We're doing a roll to do. Dunk. <laughs> oh you my both, god! You both are just like <laughs> you both just. <laughs> straight down and like amaranth like amaranth actually like pokes her head and like hey everyone's gathered for <laughs> she looks at the two of you who are like heads down underneath the water ah, a bunch of kids <laughs> <laughs> and then after like a long while actually for both of you you both Woof! Ah, I see. You're a worthy <laughs> opponent. We're evenly matched. Okay. You might have actually been able to rob me if I had any money. <laughs> I guess... I, what? You do strength training in that pool of yours? Don't tell me it was a penthouse or something or I'll get mad. <laughs> um, no, it was totally not a penthouse. It was a public pool at the uh, <laughs> IMCA. <laughs> You're trash at lying! <laughs> She, like, belly laughs at you. The more you hang out with Sorelia, the more of her, like, hi, I'm a peppy, friendly person is rubbing away, and you are seeing way more of the kind of meme. Uh, <laughs> well, you are a pirate. <laughs> You're kind of used to it. You're kind of like the cowboys of the sea. As, uh, as that happens, a pirate, you say? Uh, Retta, Sorelia... Well, you guys were dunking your heads and holding them underwater. <laughs> you attracted the attention of someone who was chilling on the other side of the hot springs. Just quite interested in what what the hell you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> she holds herself there, looking back and forth. What is going on? Uh, uh, nothing. It's uh, just me and my good friend Glocktula hanging out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trying to drown ourselves. My, yes. my, I haven't seen you get so active before, Sorelia. I suppose that's what happens when you're with good friends, though, correct? <laughs> yep, two peas in a pod, us. Mm. We go a real pirate go-getter attitude, but you should be careful about talking about pirates. 
Pirate? I didn't really say pirate. I said I was irate when my pool was stolen from me. <laughs> oh, of course. She uh, she kind of glocked to her, was it? Yes, mm-hmm. this is this is glock to us. She's very poor. <laughs> oh, so poor. She kind of goes over, and yet you stand so dignified. I can relate. She puts her hand forward, and then uh, doesn't not for a handshake, but actually wraps it around uh, and gives a very formal bow. A pleasure to meet you. My name is Queen Demean. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else with a tough mother. <laughs> uh, she she kind of uh, moves to the side a bit and then uh, positions herself over just on the side of the rocks here and is just kind of like leans over and looks curiously. Yes, I'm something of an irate myself. Oh. Tell me, tell me. Um, Miss uh, Glocktua again, was it? It was, yes. I'm kind so of like curious. a legendary hero, but a gun. Oh, <laughs> how interesting. Now, tell me, Glogtua, what brings you all over to these parts? Uh, you know, just a, a duel, a father-daughter duel of ghost hunting adventurers hearing about a haunted island. She, her eyes kind of open wide and she puts a, a hand up to her chin and she's just like, a haunted island? A group of adventurers? Well, that sounds so excellent. Tell me, why don't you give me one of your adventurable stories? I want to hear it. Oh, of course. Uh, a, a ghost story, specifically? Oh, stories of excellence, horror, adventure. You should have plenty if you're an adventurer, right? Yes, of course. Maybe I can tell Sorelia. you a story about... <laughs> she is... Sorelia is floating around in the water, just listening. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, she, she kind of like... turns over and looks, yes... You should join us, too. Let's all exchange a story together. Oh, a story apiece. That sounds like fun. Story time's always the best pastime. She kind of puts her hands together and kind of turns her head and rests it on a rock as she stares. Please tell me something. Well, you first. You did bring it up. Oh, but I felt like I interrupted you before you started. I know, but then you interrupted me and then I couldn't start. Mm, She kind of (laughs) thinks about that a little bit as she's, uh... Well, all right then. She kind of sits up on the rock and uh, let me just roll something really quick. I want to figure something out. Okay, let's say yellow then. Queen Demean. Queen Demean. Queen Demean and Count Cool. (laughs) You you Um, have no idea how much fun we had. (laughs) (laughs) She uh, arcs upon the rock and then actually stands up and... uh, Suddenly, you you feel a shift occur as um, there's the energy just swaps dramatically as this sort of languid, sophisticated air just kind of shifts away as an actual full-on just excited aura falls about her. And she um, puts her foot on the rock. Well, listen up, then. <laughs> she uh, <laughs> she kind of, like, leans over and looks directly at you. Have you ever seen a sea beast before, Miss Glocktua? <laughs> no, I tend to avoid the water. How big have you heard them go? <laughs> every time Glocktua's name is mentioned, Sorelia dunks her face under the water and lets out a fucking howl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> she she kind of leans in closer. How big do you think they get? The size of buildings? The size of cities? Um, building sounds right. Wrong, wrong. Just a little bit bigger than that. My, they can stretch for miles. Some beasts are the size of islands themselves. It was one such beast that me and my fleet came across one fateful night of a storm. I tell you, it was about the size of an entire city of just about. A city the size of an island with with large spines that stretched into the sky like those big skyscrapers that you find near Indigo. She uh, I mean, no, kind it was of. A beast and not just an island with trees. Because of its howl, the roar it made. My goodness, it was something excellent. I had so much fun. I ordered my fleet to circle around it all around, and she she kind of keeps going and describes the tactics of this and everything, and tries to draw you in into her story time. I'm into it. Yeah, a story. Oh, it's a good story. Yeah, big, big into it. Yeah, yeah. No. she really gets this... you into it. 
This and, one even gets into it. It yeah, seems to be dedicated to chaos only. Yeah. She starts letting you know about the different ways they attacked, the formation, the tactics, everything, down to an individual level. She talks about the gigantic cannon she had mounted at the front of her ship. And with that, she prepared it for firing. She launched the mightiest cannon shell, but it did not even leave a scratch. And that's when she knew that the correct option was not to sink this beast, but instead to land upon it. <laughs> the next thing she launched was herself, straight into the air as she flew into the beast, landing with a harpoon in an intent to carve the eyes out of it its very own. And with that, eventually, the oh, the eyes themselves, and she, uh, she stands up, arcs up, and then uh, she sort of like skips across the rock and uh, kind of runs over across from here and stands up to this point. The distance is between us. Times 20 about. <laughs> she, she, um, as she kind of like raises her hands up into the sky, we had to carve the eyes out. And after which my ships harpooned onto the end. We knew we were not capable of destroying it, but instead we splashed into the water itself, pulling with all of our might from many ships. And then, uh, and then the beast attempts to drag us deep into the sea. She leaps up, lands into the water, a little wave splashing across you. She kind of comes closer with intensity. And you must understand, it was such a dangerous thing. Nothing is more dangerous than seeing a ship go scuttling in the midst of a storm. But yet, we kept sailing. For we knew, in the far north, there lied icebergs. Things that could sink any ship, and we knew, perhaps could carve a beast like this to pieces. And so, we reached that point. Our ships scuttling across the ice, as once more, with our harpoons drawn, we dragged this beast deep into an iceberg. And as it landed, what cannon could not do, nature could itself, as an iceberg sliced into this thing. It was... <sighs> she kind of settles back, nostalgia sort of falling over <laughs> her face, as that wonderful smile kind of opens up, and you Gross see almost a serpentine... Me. Yeah, a serpentine tongue kind of slip out for a moment before she kind of recomposes herself and looks over. It was the largest beast we ever found. And we did it not for war, for honor, for heroism, but yet to prove that we were truly the masters of these seas. And yet we were. She kind of leans back and feels a little, oh, what we were. And then the energy kind of calms down again. But I'm afraid there are no more boats, no more fleets, and the age of piracy has rather come to an end. And so I sit here telling stories, and I would love to hear a story of equal caliber, if you can provide it, the both of you. Equal caliber? The slaying a giant sea beast the size of an island? <laughs> I think... I think you should make something up. <laughs> I don't need to make something up. Oh! <laughs> Well, I might not be an irate myself. <laughs> <laughs> the seas I sailed were of the city, skylines, buildings towering up into the clouds. She leads The in. city was indigo. And I was actually undercover at the time as somebody known as the masked Sam Peter. <laughs> oh. This is the story of how I and a couple of my friends went on a train heist. <laughs> <laughs> oh a train i've never seen one of those she ah. leans in Bretta. so i guess we're both learning about things i'm learning about sea beasts and you're learning about trains the sea beasts of the land <laughs> <laughs> truly truly how large are they how long they can span for miles and they ride oh. upon tracks machinery powered by fire spitting out smoke into the sky polluting the airs <laughs> oh <laughs> Our, our task was one of love. The train had contained uh, a friend of mine's uh, um, mother, lover, sister. I'm, I'm not sure what their relationship was. <laughs> but we were tasked with saving her from her captor, her, her own father. <laughs> a powerful Goodness. mage. What a classic tale. Could yes. you give me a roll to die, then a roll to do? <laughs> My favorite mother, lover, sister. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that Aza is Selim's mom. <laughs> <laughs> the 
<laughs> Listen, Mother Lover Sister is really funny. Beretta never got a proper rundown. No, he <laughs> doesn't <laughs> really know. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, I have to refresh. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like Queen Demean as well. <laughs> I, I like love, them I all. Love everybody. Why is everybody everyone. the best? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. I'm rolling to die and to do. Yeah, give me a die and a do. Let's die. Ooh. Oh. Uh, we haven't gone sightseeing yet. Yeah. No. It does make sense. You're trying to communicate. In a oh, it's so pretty in here. Past. It's so good. Oh, it lo- it's, re- it's so perfect. It's reflecting the water. It's great. Oh, if you did this on the nighttime map, it would look really good. You know what? If we transition, oh, probably. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, by on. the time, by the time yeah, no, this I've got ends, this. yeah. I've I've got this. Uh, so, <laughs> Beretta, you start to tell your story. And it begins with the tale of a train heist. You thought it'd be the most exciting part of the tale, you know? Like, yeah. let's lead in with the thing that people want to hear the most, the most explosive portion of it. But, well, eventually, you finish up the train heist, and then you realize oh, there's a little bit more context. Noctua got knocked through that roof. And then uh, you sort of pick up the thread, and you're like, no, that needs a little more context, too. And you wind up telling a rather long tale instead. This one (laughs) spans from beginning to end. And given time, the hours sort of slip between your fingers as day shifts into night, and you tell your stories of a city called Indigo. And by the end, you find yourself there with a group of people honestly flabbergasted by the effort that you put in. The story is not only well delivered, you wind up giving a little more of yourself away than you expected. And (laughs) as a part of that, the reaction is Queen Demean, after you finish telling you, approaches and you notice she grabs both your hands and holds them in hers as she looks across you earnestly is like, Beretta, is that it? Is that the true name you said? Yeah, I got excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Understand, Miss Pietro. She, uh, she kind of holds like your hand again, looks directly at you. You are miraculous. In fact, I would say that you are truly someone unique. Please, please. It is getting late. The food has already probably been cooked for uh, for hours now, and I'm sure the bonfire is soon to begin. You must promise me this now. We will engage with more stories later. I must learn more about you, and I promise to tell you about myself as well. I can I can agree to that promise. I enjoyed bathing with you. <laughs> she nods her head, and she kind of stands up and gives you a bow. And then she gives you this great smile. It drifts a bit on the other one for a bit, but then sinks back to the other. Well then, we should get back to that bonfire, don't you think? I am getting hungry. <laughs> Excellent. Last time I did. She uh, walks with you, and I'm sorry, we'll have to get to your irate stories later. <laughs> Sorelia's just been swimming around. After a certain point, she's like, ah, I'm, I think I'm good, honestly. She, she's... she grabs both of you around the neck, just basically pulling you in close. Well then, girls, let's go get food! <laughs> <laughs> I hate getting pulled places. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Break time. <laughs> Before the end, of break chapter, time. Playing the chapter one song. <laughs> yeah. 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 When you're telling the chapter one story, me crying. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <that was great. laughs> See, here's the thing. We set up all this absolutely dumb shit. And then I'm like, here's the thing. All of this is very stupid. I can already feel everyone crying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I you mean, said it yourself. <laughs> I made my most important episode, the camping episode. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the camping episode was good, though. Like, the camping episode is really good, though. The I camping think episode you... is canoning as shit? Like, no, it's very important. The, ca- the camping episode had the good shit in it. If people skip the camping episode, then it's they're missing out. Yeah. I'm going to arrange everyone in the food place. Hey, 
<laughs> Christian. Yeah? Is ZZ Shingard here? Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> Do you Let's... want ZZ Shingard to be fucking grabbing drinks with William Pietro? Sure, they're catching up. Yeah, they're catching up. That sounds like uh, fun. Uh, little man? Could I have stashed uh, ZZ Shingard's sword somewhere? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, little man will be there without the little sword. Man. <laughs> okay, uh, from the top, let me grab Ami. She's going to be serving everyone. What do monkeys drink? Water? <laughs> Coconuts. What do I give you even? Do you, do you want some water? <laughs> Can they drink Banana banana stuff. juice? Yes. Bananas. <laughs> they drink the banana. They drink the banana. Okay, Count Cool's gonna be here. Yes! <laughs> um, um, I'm going to put one character that we haven't encountered yet in this scene. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's going to be one character in the next scene that we haven't encountered as mm -hmm. well. You see, I had to be Count Cool, because if I wasn't, then I'd be Count Cringe, you know what I mean, kids? <laughs> <laughs> pretty sus. Been, I'm pretty sus! I'm pretty sus! <laughs> <laughs> I'm among you! I'm among you! All of you! Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, okay. Then... Looking good over here. Uh, yeah. I'm going to, uh, Brennan, give me some more rolls. Uh, this time yeah, I'm gonna D6. ask for a, yeah, D6s, but these ones are going to be mm. rapid. Uh, or, sorry, D D3s, rapidly. D3. Does Brennan yeah, get any stats from that scene? Uh, yes, Brennan will get a blue stat from that scene. Look at yeah. Aloha helping me. Uh, yeah. Increasing Look, dude, your powers. I, I don't want you to have excuses for when you lose. <laughs> Yeah, give me a bunch of it D3s and special holiday. We are going to randomize your table. Three, three, okay. Uh, doink, doink, two. Uh, okay, two, this one. Uh, two, this one, weird, okay. Um, uh, give me another one. <laughs> one. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm so sorry, tough week, man. What? Uh, <laughs> Uh, and then one more. Weakman? <laughs> Three! Okay, that makes sense. Um, okay. He was almost called Soft Hardman. He was almost called Soft Hardman and yeah. almost uh, Castaway Sparks. I yeah. still like Castaway Sparks. Castaway Sparks is way Castaway cool. Sparks sounds too much like a real name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Die hard, man. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, tough week, man. <laughs> I should have given him a, de a dejected alt. <laughs> but I, I, I did it. Maybe I'll get on that after this. <laughs> okay. So, Beretta. It's dinner time. And now... Now is a true battlefield, or in Indigo would be a true battlefield, but here, I don't know what your feelings are. It's time to figure out where you're sitting. I'd like to find out. <laughs> yeah, we randomized the table, and uh, table three is to hell. <laughs> I, love I love that there's a rosy mist over every map. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Dude, scooting in behind you. Ooh, rich table. Oh, one of them has that cool irate lady, but the uh, it also has Socorro at it, so like <laughs> the balance. <laughs> Which one are oh, you what? going to? Oh, I'm gonna go sip a little. Bit. No matter who's there. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, no, it's making me run. <laughs> she chases you down and pushes you back. Thank you. I yeah. forgot how to walk myself. It's fine. We all have social anxiety sometimes, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm not supposed to have social anxiety. It's kind of my thing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I sit next to the little one. <laughs> yeah. 
Too he's, sincere. He's sitting down almost like he's a little person. Yeah, I wanna, <laughs> I'm gonna put him on my lap. Oh! <laughs> he is very pleased. <laughs> you can tell by his expression. <laughs> he has caused much mischief today. <laughs> you look there like you've been up to no good. He eeks and he ooks. <laughs> 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 and then he yeah. gets mm -hmm. a devilish ah! <laughs> <laughs> that goes back. what a nice monk mm -hmm. little man is truly a little spark of joy in this community he is mm -hmm. I'm glad yeah. to have known him Sakoro quietly stands up and moves to a different table. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Ami comes. Ami comes over. Oh, uh, I guess I'll bring it to him over there. Uh, what do you want? Uh, I'll have what he's having. <laughs> Good pick. <laughs> big, <laughs> big mean smile. Oh, you also got little man. Mm-hmm. Works yeah, up, little man. Little man gives <laughs> a, little man. gives like an okay hand. <laughs> you want the usual? Nods. <laughs> Nods. Moves back over in this direction. Hey, Socorro, I guess I'm bringing you your food over here. <laughs> he just like, I think she's a vegetarian. I didn't order a vegetarian meal. <laughs> I'm sure I can make vegetarian. What was it you ordered again? Beef stroganoff. <laughs> I can make. <laughs> I can make vegetarian beef stroganoff. <laughs> Just didn't want you to waste food. He takes a bite. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm gonna hang on. It's it's time. Hey, how's the day going? Looks like a lonely <laughs> table over here. <laughs> Everything going all right? Ah, Count, it's good to see you. Anyway, yes, you got you've got a great outfit. Thank uh, you. I, who I supplied such wonderful clothes? Ah, yes, he did. <laughs> he pats you on the shoulder, just like so. Tell me, you you you're coming, you're coming, you know, all alone, and everything's everything going good. Yeah, I, I'm actually quite pleased with this trip so far, and I haven't even seen a ghost yet. Excellent! I I suppose that might be considered something of a downside, depending on who you're talking to. Yeah, I was kind of hoping. But the night is still young. The dark hour is not yet upon him. Mm, he kind of thinks about that a little bit. It might already be here. You should be very careful, Beretta. Oh, you're Careful about having too much fun! He pats you on the back! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a great time. I'm so excited to have you. Oh, uh, Queen Demine. She kind of turns her head. Yes. How is our new friend? Everything going well? Yes, yeah, she's quite fascinating. Uh, Beretta, you should tell him about the time and all the stuff you did. I'm sure he'd love to hear it. <laughs> he just... He just... <laughs> And yeah. I guess Glock was just out the window. He's like, wait, uh, Beretta? What's that? Is that the gun? Uh, yeah, like a gun. That's the nickname oh. she gave me, actually. Oh, that's wonderful. Already nicknames. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> this one scoots over next to you. Glock, Tua. You have yet to heed my warnings. And I still haven't seen a ghost. Perhaps that will change. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on now. He kind of like leads over the table a bit, and it's just like she hasn't had my her, She doesn't heed my warnings either, and she's she's already started having too much fun. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps the joy will infect us all. <laughs> oh no! Oh. I hear that joy is contagious. Yes, he reaches up and bites into a red bag. Anyways. <laughs> 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 oh. He kind of yeah. turns it over. Oh, look, yes, it's, 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 it's juice. It's tomato juice. Uh, Clamato. Yes. <laughs> he uh, finished chirping up. Do you want some? Um, sure. I, I, it's vegetarian, right? Mm hmm. He, uh, <laughs> tomato juice. What are you talking about? He hands it over. It's, it's tomato juice, all right. 
I will have a sip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So tell me, have you explored much of the island? I've been around a bit. I've seen a few of the sites. I'm quite interested in all of the towers and uh, it seems to be no, civilization you... that was left behind. You mustn't approach the abandoned <laughs> buildings, especially not at night. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Do not approach the buildings and do not climb the mountains. He has a serious expression on his face. Without proper mining mountain climbing equipment, which I can sell at my store! Come on, buy if you want any, and I'll give you. If you want to explore, you can buy a flashlight. I have a few important. Or you can get a lantern. A lantern's great for walking around at night. Allows you to have so much more fun, right? Well, do, you have a, do you Do perhaps have some sort of low-quality camera that I can capture these adventures on? No. Oh, a camera! I have, you know, are you willing to stand still for ten minutes? Yes. Then yes, I do. <laughs> Quietly, require a camera. Hang in the corner has been quietly going, no, stop, no, <laughs> the entire time. Queen but Demean. you are so loud and raucous, yeah. it yeah. just covers up all of it. Queen Demean just kind of puts a hand on her sleeve and is just like, now, now, it's dinner time, save it for later. Yeah, I guess business can wait and go hunting. <laughs> it is almost dinner. Yeah, uh, here's your vegetarian beef stroganoff. I, so, unironically, I did just have vegetarian beef stroganoff. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'm it a great a chef! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he walks off. Uh, she's gonna... Oh, shit, she's gonna roll. Oh, man, you get... I, we get to determine the quality of this meal um, we were going to do. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Her stats are high. She oh, rolled. good! It kicks ass! What did you use in this mushroom? She pokes her head back in. Yeah, there's lots of wild mushrooms all over the islands. I tend to collect them out at night. Uh, if you want, we can actually uh, quietly hay over here. No! Yeah, I thought one of the rules, one of the many rules, were not to go out at night. Uh, no, I, without proper lighting, he kind of like gives. You should listen to those <laughs> rules. <laughs> he, he like, uh, nah, it's like fine. It's fine. Like, if you're strong enough, nothing on the island will give you any trouble. So yeah, we can go out at night. That'll be fun. You look pretty strong. I, I heard you. I heard you. You know, roughed up the the kappa under the bridge. The kappa under the bridge. Yes, it wants to be your apprentice now. Correct. Wait. <laughs> That's the capital under the bridge. Uh, little man lets out a little monkey giggle. <laughs> <laughs> well, we uh, to be honest, I, I, I think uh, the capital under the bridge is an old friend of mine. I think she was going easy on me. Oh, going easy on you, eh? Hmm. Do people often cry after going easy on others? That guilt that you must sustain it all inside of yourself. I see, I see. That's why I never go easy on anyone. He pats you on was, the back very hard. I think it was tears of joy to see that I've grown into such a strong young woman. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's so wonderful. I'm happy everyone's happy here. He, um, he just kind of like, well, anyways, if you want to go hunting for wild mushrooms or wild ghosts, always give old cool a call. <laughs> Do you have some sort of cool call signal? Yes. It's called, um, he kind of thinks a bit. Um, he, he kind of like puts his fingers in his mouth and he makes like a screeching whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone That's in it. the room turns and looks. I'm That's my cool call. That, having never whistled before. <laughs> Give it a shot. <laughs> Let's just roll to do. <laughs> roll to do. <laughs> oh. it's, it's, it's a pretty good. It's a pretty that good is bad. close enough. If you make a whistle like that, I will remember that your subpar whistle is actually quite the close. Yeah, I imagine it sounds something like... <laughs> yeah. He, he like, uh... Now, just... Be careful. Again, don't want to go tripping over any vines, huh? No, I wouldn't want to trip over any vines. Yes. Oh, you trip over vines, you might hit your head and you'll be solid as stone for the rest of the night. And he kind of pats you on the back. And he just kind of gets up and starts walking away. I'm going to get some more um, uh, tomato juice. <laughs> hey, quietly over to the side. The curse of the island. And then Sorelia wanders over. Hey, hey, hey. We're gonna we're gonna have a drinking contest. You're old enough to drink, right? 
Based on my um, research, based on my research, you're old enough to drink. <laughs> yes, I am. She says, <laughs> knowing how she reacts to alcohol. <laughs> do you not? Do you not drink? I don't want to pressure you or anything. No, I've had drinks. <laughs> That's cryptic. Okay, cool. I look forward to this competition. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Another competition. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> no, I, you know what? I think it's we're good. We're good. I'm I'm actually good with you. Uh, we can go drinking some other time internally. I'll definitely lose. I'll definitely lose. If she's involved. I'll definitely lose. Yeah, she feels like she can drink. <laughs> oh, she looks like drink. Okay, so, okay, Sakura. I got our last participant. <sighs> wow. <laughs> He, he just kind of, like, you looks look across at again. everyone. <laughs> I think I'm quite fine here. <laughs> come on, come on, let's go, let's go! <laughs> he slurps down tomato juice. <laughs> yes, uh, you can keep up with your tomato juice. Uh, over here, tough, just, like, looking down. Well, I don't really drink, <laughs> so I'll just keep an eye on everyone. <laughs> Woman's trying to stop her from competing. Yeah. yeah, they're 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 like they're like muzzling it on each other, and then Queen Demean just kind of steps back, like fine. Mm. <laughs> but I don't think you should be drinking either. <laughs> they pick up the monkey and drag them back away, like <laughs> nope, nope, nope. And then, um, how about you compete? They point over to you. <laughs> Hey, like, it perks up, uh, okay. Hey, Jen, was it? Go compete with everyone. Plops down over here. Me and little man will have a little conversation on the side. <laughs> no. <laughs> little man sweats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 we're drinking, yes? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Yori, like, puts their hands together. Of course, if anyone is uncomfortable with the concept, feel free to not partake. It's something of a sailor slash pirate ritual. When you're in good company, you pull out your finest bottle and you see who can withstand the most. Um, if that's not at all interesting, feel free to just enjoy the good drink. Uh, you can tap yourself out after a glass. I assure you it's quite expensive and quite high quality. I look forward to it. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> okay well everyone to uh our good friend Glockdua's first night on the island I would Cheers. like to roll to withstand the smell <laughs> uh yeah give me a roll to die oh yeah you're fine oh. yeah yes I'm strong <laughs> you are you are strong you are ripped uh, agent's gonna sit here. So, uh, lock in something off of your roll to dive and give me a roll to do. Oh, we're having fun. Hmm. Yeah, that's about right for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> Tuff's just sitting there watching like, I'm just going to make sure everybody has a safe night. <laughs> what, do, what do you do? Oh, okay. Okay, his, Sapporo. His name is almost Tequila, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh, hey, Jean. Oh, boy. You are fucking ready. Uh, Count mixes in his tomato juice into his alcohol, immediately disqualifying himself. <laughs> Uh, and Vacation Beretta. Okay, so here's what happens, actually. Everyone rolls really high, surprisingly. Um, Beretta, you are certainly the most outclassed. Literally everyone except for, uh, no, everyone rolled higher than you. Yep, I'm um, out of my league. You, you kind of are. You take a look around the, uh, the table. This one was immediately disqualified. But, like, as you, as you just, like, bottoms up, you're like, oh, this is pretty nice actually like it's some sort of liquor you've never 
had before. It tastes pretty strongly of, like, berries. Um, and, like, God, this probably tastes like a nightmare. <laughs> um, but, uh, as you, as you drink, you're like, oh, sort of like a pleasant sensation sort, sort of seeps in and spreads over the room. You notice, um, uh, the three around you, like, you're starting to get a little buzzed, and you decide, eh, I'm gonna tap out there. Like, mm -hmm. for once, you aren't drunk, though. Like, yes, immediately I'm so after happy. Thinking. I'm so yeah. proud. <laughs> Beretta, you're like, wow, that's my limit. And, like, uh, hey, She drinks it, and she just, like, slams the glass down on the table. Like, she's going to ask for another one, and then she's not going to. <laughs> <laughs> he mimics your exact motions doing the same thing. Uh. <laughs> Um, meanwhile, Iori over here is, like, just downs it and then kind of thinks about it, twisting the glass in their hands. They appear to be actually very, very, very used to this. Meanwhile, Socorro... Socorro just has the vibe of somebody who downs brandy late night at work. Yeah. <laughs> He's, like, shot done. Uh, yeah. His name is almost Socorro. <laughs> yep. Socorro Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> That's his nickname. <laughs> and Sorelia over here, yeah, she drinks like a fish. Uh, these three, these three kind of look at each other. Oh, I didn't realize you were all heavyweights. Hmm, I didn't realize a camellia would be able to hold their weight this much. <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah. I mean, all that fancy booze we drink all the time. Looks over to Soko uh, Socorro. What's your story? He just kind of looks down. Fruity stuff is weak. This is easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the powerful wow. palate of a salary man. <laughs> Well, if you think this is weak, I'll go get the stronger stuff. Thank you. He kind of, like, just crosses his arms and then looks over and, Sorelli. uh, just, yeah. Sorelia watches you back. He's been watching. Yeah, they they just start staring after that exchange. <laughs> yeah, you feel, you feel, Bretta, you're, you're fairly keyed into how Sorelia works at this point. You can feel just this this look on her face that's like, <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Eventually, Yori comes back. Uh, Sir Tough, would you mind moving out of the way? Y yeah, no problem. Kind of grinds his way over here and sits down next to you, Beretta. Yori <laughs> sits down and then <laughs> proceeds to pour for Sorelia and Socorro. I see Another die then. and then do. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what happens with that. Oh, Don't even know what this stat is, but we'll see. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It was indeed weak shit. <laughs> oh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> These two, like. Uh, you notice, like, you notice Siori pull out some fairly fancy-looking glasses, serves a shot to everyone, and, uh, Sorelli is like, Haha, I'm gonna destroy you, and seconds later is like, I'm, I think I'm good, I'm solid, you two, you two, go ahead, I'm, that's, that's enough for me. Oh, man. Socorro gets a little self-satisfied smug look <laughs> on his face, which is watched away, and then he finishes the glass, and then, uh. um... And he uh, turns over to Iori, and he's just like, Lord Tanigashima, if it please you, I would rather not want to continue just a normal drinking game. If it's just going to be us, then I'd rather have just an enjoyable evening instead of with... And he just kind of, like, gestures around. <laughs> Sorelli is wobbling in her seat. And Bruno's <laughs> grasping her glass, and she's like, he's unaffected. <laughs> <laughs> hey is just watching you grasp the glass. Uh, Iori kind of looks you, over. Do you see first, my point? First of all, Iori, please, come on. We've been working together for weeks at this point. You have to drop the Lord Tanagashima thing. He uh, considers that for a moment and is just like, perhaps when it feels appropriate. Second of all, drinking is always better with company, especially if... Um, you're able to show off your own personal aptitudes, he says with a slight smile. <laughs> so you mean to show me off? 
He kind of <laughs> considers that. Then give me another glass. <laughs> oh, you you are power um, salary, man. <laughs> Beretta is as red as her icon yeah. is right now. <laughs> oh. Again. Yeah. <laughs> These two are these two are gonna keep going, and I think like I think they more or less wander away to this table and just yeah. start fucking drinking and talking. You yeah. get the feeling that these two are kind of close, actually. Meanwhile, your table is relatively uh wasted. <laughs> a little bit. Toph looks down at you. You doing okay? Your uh, your entire face is lit up. Most I've ever drank. Uh, can you? Are you? Do you need help? Are you doing okay? Like a look no. of concern crosses his face. I think I, I think I'm becoming stronger. Okay. I mean, that's good, I guess. Uh, I haven't been this proud of myself since. Oh, there was this one time I cut a carrot and I didn't do that. <laughs> it's like completely unsure of why you were saying this to him. He's just like. Oh, I'm proud of you too, then. <laughs> Thank you. You're doing I feel good. like you mean that. You're doing great. <laughs> He's like <laughs> unable to engage with the situation properly. He's like, yeah, you're, uh, uh, seems like people, uh, like you. Um, me and Keeper. She leans on him a little bit. Okay. <laughs> it's enough about me and my carrot cutting. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> Uh, well, um, he's like, he's struggling pretty hard, like, looking, shifting around. Um, do I smell like flowers? Yeah, you do, because you're covered in flowers. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, um, I was on my way to Windrose, actually, and, uh, I kind of have been here for weeks. Um, I... I don't think there's anything too interesting about me. He says, clearly a lie based on all of the magic shit that's happening. I don't believe you. I've seen magic stuff and that is magic stuff. <laughs> I, uh, my magic tends to act up in, in ways that I have to, uh, contain. Um, otherwise my body would sort of burn away to nothing. <laughs> he sort of mumbles out. Well, that sounds hardcore. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to come onto this island and tell you how to live your life all of a sudden, but I feel like someone like you would greatly benefit from going to the school I go to. I have no magic talent myself, but everybody else there does. Oh, uh, where are you? I know you've got a master you're waiting for, but where... I, I think you would benefit from it, and it's not too far. Yeah, uh, where, where is that? He's like, you're leaning on him bodily, and he's like, he's clearly like, okay, I will stoically accept this while turning bright red as a peach. <laughs> <laughs> Another land called Indigo. Oh, uh. Many people yeah. have forgotten about it, but uh, I didn't. I just came <laughs> from there. I, uh, I know someone from there, actually. He sort of mumbles. Oh, yeah? Who? Uh, I think my master's family's from there. Go on. Uh, he like looks around. I'm not supposed to, I'm not supposed to say their name, especially not out in the world. Well, I'm very drunk and I'll forget. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a roll to do. <laughs> roll? Nope. Uh, versus his die. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna clash for responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. Oh. <laughs> He's responsible. He starts to say a word and he goes like, my fam, uh, their family's the, you know what, I, I can't say this. Uh, if you're really that drunk, we should probably not be talking about sensitive secrets, right? I can name, see, I can name magic people until you change your expression uh no it's it's fine that's fine i'll interrogate you no uh <laughs> it's okay uh here um hey uh hey leans over yes i didn't mean it like that but can you take her for a second <laughs> thump thump over this way i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go get you some water <laughs> he's nice <laughs> it moves away he is he also did not heed the warnings 
Well, I think his master told him he has to stay here. Oh, that's a good point. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the secrets. <laughs> No wait, no. There we Breda. go. Close. There Breda, we go. Breda, you, you, you swear you see the horns like shift. And you're like, no wait, you're just seeing. I'm that. just drunk. <laughs> and around that time, Ami opens the door. Hey, everyone, bonfire time! Come on, let's go outside. Always wanted to be at a bonfire. <laughs> These two are still drinking. Yeah. Like there is not any slowdown at all. My, if this continues, I will actually be out of my finest stock. <laughs> he, uh, he kind of, like, considers that a bit. Well, what a fine way to use it. He <laughs> finishes the rest of his drink. <laughs> I, I guess so. We can continue our drinking around the bonfire. Let's go. He grabs it and just kind of prepares to walk out. You you grab, like, you two, like, lean a mutual shoulder on each other. Mm -hmm. And then Iori says something kind of, like, unexpected for their usual, like, very careful, considered persona. Hey, who do you think is faster, me or you? Hmm. What? He kind of considers that a bit. Let me think. Did you have any sort of fun little track field in the old courts? Actually, no. have... when I was when I was studying under the tortoise god, I had to run well over ten miles every morning before the meditation began. You have to understand, I have to run to work back home all day. No, so that's much worse. you won't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> let's see which let's see which prevails. The teachings of the god of enlightenment or the commute of a salary man. <laughs> oh. These two exit out into the fucking night. <laughs> and hold on, let me prep. Uh, let me prep the village. Good. Let me grab a fireplace. Good. Smiles. A perfect place for your demise. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't like secretly a fucked up fireplace. Does it have bodies or some shit? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I pray to roll twenty. <laughs> if it is, that'll be funny. Of course, Count bonfire. Count Cool's I mean, just like, oh, that's just the mannequins I had on stock. That's just the mannequins. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Look it a lot seems to be drained of blood. <laughs> Looks a lot better than that slaughtered pig. No, no, they're drained of tomato juice. Get it right. <laughs> Uh, dropping stuff on the map is not working for me, so I have to refresh. Um... Hit this button. <laughs> it's Pride Month. Sorry. Drop this. Fire! I miss Greta. <laughs> Me too, <laughs> always. Yeah, she's finally back. We're back, baby. We're back in business. Yeah, Queen's boy. back. Okay. I literally... Oh, roll 20. Why are you doing this? Ah, uh, roll 20 isn't letting me drop objects. So, if any of my wonderful co-GMs could drop a fire, please, on the village map. Of course. I'm trying I'll to no response, yeah. Oh boy. Hmm. Uh oh. Can't we first get out Use like your imagination. No, bonfire's cancelled. You guys are doing something else. <gasps> uh, let's see. I know I'll draw one! <laughs> yeah! I can drop oh there it goes. There's a fire, it just spawned. Um Yeah, I that's because I placed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've always wanted to go to a bonfire. There is no Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Let's just, I'll make this happen. Our Iori and, uh, our Iori and Socorro at the bonfire, or are they drunkenly running around? <laughs> I think they're, I think they're at the bonfire. They would show up again at the bonfire. Yes. After drunkenly running around the island. Absolutely. They did a full lap around the island. Okay. That's a long distance, but they did it anyways. Yeah. They didn't heed the warnings. No. <laughs> They're too fast for any demons. Lines. Yeah. There. Oh, 
Okay. Setting everyone up. Including little man. Most importantly, little man. Carry me to the fire, little man. <laughs> and then there's those two down there. Okay, and Christian, I'm dropping a character for you. Please observe oh. them. Let's see. Yes! <laughs> uh, okay. And then we'll do like three of these two. Sound good? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay. Um, there we go. Okay. So, I gotta stop and restart the cicadas. Very important. <laughs> Very important. So important. They're, it's important to, to the aesthetic. Uh, More like sin cadas. Sin cadas? Uh, Is this an orgy? You, uh... oh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> time passes and you'll find yourself gathered around a big bonfire <sighs> the night's sort of settling in on the island still pretty another peaceful joyous night another peaceful there was a never mind <laughs> <laughs> These two are sacked out over here. Both of them just completely exhausted. Yeah. Is it from the alcohol or the running? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Our, uh... Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Over here. Yeah, I was about to <laughs> ask. <laughs> These two have been talking. So. What, yes. do you, what do you think of her? Mm. She kind of thinks a little bit about that. She's got quite the spirit. She I'll grew up strong, much. I swear. Oh, I could tell that much. She was already quite strong when we met. I didn't think the massive, fiery personality would turn out to be such strength in all matters as well. Ah, mm. uh, yeah, I guess. No, <laughs> she reminds me of myself when I was quite younger. That makes a lot of sense, also. <laughs> so they look on his face. She kind of gets it. And that doesn't come without some negative connotations, too. But despite that, she's very good at shooting that gun. I've never quite been able to figure out how to get past guns. They're always quite an inconvenience, and I'm quite curious to learn how. I mean, I've got a few techniques on my own I could probably try and utilize. I don't think it'll be too big of a problem. We'll probably uh -huh. want to get it done in a couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, <laughs> you seem to be really caught up on this. <laughs> um, it is not quite often you experience something like that. In fact, yeah. it's been near decades since I've last okay. invested. Here's, well, yes. oh, what? I gotta stop What? There. <laughs> what? Yes? You're more like her sister, actually. I have no idea. Hmm. Her sister she... is someone who has never even once faced defeat. Hmm. And, like, when it did, she kind of got angry, ran off to Raoji, and studied to be an exorcist for, like, half a decade, and became the, one of the best in the entire world. Well, that does sound a little like me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bretta's actually a bit different, he says, his gaze sort of scanning back mm -hmm. across to the village center. How so? Um, she, uh... I don't know how to put this. I might, it might be because I can only remember those very early years, but, uh, Beretta would always bite off more than she could chew and then throw a temper tantrum when it didn't work out. Uh, but that never really stopped her from trying things, you know? He, uh, he pokes, he pokes the ground. She never, uh, learned her limits, especially during the early years. And she got madder and madder and started to being, started being just an absolute menace to everyone who would speak to her. Uh, she made one kid eat an entire centipede. Mm. Uh, he, like, he trails off. But then over the years, all that fire sort of cooled down. It hardened itself into, like, some sort of steel. And, uh, I'm gonna be honest. That steel's felt like it's been pretty close to breaking, especially recently. So, uh, 
she stops and considers that for a moment. Ah, suppose you're right. She's not like me, then. She's a lot like her. <laughs> she kind of yeah, glances actually. over at the fire again. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's why you could maybe help. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I can break another steel. <laughs> well, hmm. She already broke it before she even... But now I think I can do it. <laughs> he, he takes off I his... am that woman's arm, after all. He takes his glasses you off. You can hear Beretta like... over by the bonfire. Wow, I'm sure glad I have two arms. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... I'm proud of her. But at the same time, I'm hoping whatever confidence she's feeling right now... Alas, in a more tempered way than it has in the past, you know? Hmm. I can see your concerns. Uh, she kind of, uh, leans back a bit. Well, I can assure you, once that steel finally breaks, it'll be reforged into something so glamorous and beautiful and strong that it won't be rivaled by even the strongest of swords. <laughs> he thinks he, he's so That is, like after all, she kind of pulls her hat down, blocking her eyes if she is like her. <laughs> ah, he sort of stands up and starts to walk back over towards the bonfire I guess it's ultimately up to Beretta to decide if she's broken already <sighs> he, he sighs I feel like a kind of a failure as a father <laughs> he starts to like walk mm -hmm. away relying on you like this she, she kind of wanted why do you rely on others for your parenting often no actually <laughs> and I'm starting to think that that might be the problem. <laughs> mm, she kind of uh, puts her hand up to her chin. Perhaps she uh, steps on past and makes her way forward. Well, in that case, leave it to me. Okay. I've got a lot to learn as well. And after all, I've started to pick up some of those habits as well. What, the whole mm, not learning my limits, pushing to slam my head against a problem till I learn it? That's That's also a bit of me. <laughs> sort of like he with a tired expression sort of shrugs as uh zz shin guard starts to walk away and uh he pulls out his glasses again limits exceeding them taking over the world who cares about any of that crap he puts his uh <laughs> glasses back on i just want my daughter to be happy oh, William. <laughs> <laughs> the two, the two rejoin the bonfire. <laughs> uh, this, she scoots to the side, giving William's spot to huddle up on the <laughs> William fire. William plops down and sees, Oh, you're with Little Man! <laughs> yes, he's been my designated driver. Little Man does an okay <laughs> hand. <laughs> oh, uh, that's good. Wait. It's over. Have a good day. I drank a whole glass. Okay. Uh, if that is your qualification of a good day, I'm a little worried. But <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. Your tolerance has gone way up. That's what I'm saying. It's oh, a good day. Please don't tell me you're gonna start drinking like your mother. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. <laughs> okay. Good. He pats you on the back. Uh, looks at the fire for a bit. I feel like I should have more moments like this. Mm -hmm. I've denied myself them for too long. Huh. <laughs> you know what? You really have. <laughs> Every time I try to have a sleepover, you say something like, oh, now it's going to be impromptu study time. You wait till your friends fall asleep and then you sneak away to go do things. Yeah. I don't know. I just, when I'm in Indigo, I feel like that city's taken something from me and I'm working really hard to get it back. <laughs> but whenever I'm even just outside of it, I kind of feel that weight's lifted off my shoulders a little bit. Like there's nothing I can do about it, so why bother? <laughs> Takes off his glasses and sort of like rubs his eyes for a second. Hey, Beretta. Mm-hmm. Serious question, uh, you don't gotta decide right now. Uh, you wanna move somewhere else? No, so, uh, never. Uh, 
<sighs> yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> he <sort of laughs> sighs and shakes his head. Well, what do I look like, my sister? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Laramie will be back. <laughs> More power. I somehow doubt it. I haven't seen her since I was little. Uh, she'll be more powerful than we could have ever imagined. <laughs> he like pulls his he pulls his legs up. Well, give it some thought, okay? While you're on this break. Feel that weight lifted off of you. Uh I mean uh, he, he tugs at his mustache. If there's anything I can do to lift it, you know I will. I appreciate that. But I can handle the weight. I won't break. He quietly nods. <sighs> well, hopefully this vacation will give you a nice break from it so you can fully appreciate what's going on when you get back, okay? Yeah, I think that's a good plan. And then, hopefully, my hammer will smash a wall. Yes. Smash that wall. <laughs> he sort of trails off. He bats you on the shoulder and sort of stands up. Well, I'm tired. I'm going home. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your bonfire. I will. <laughs> he waves and sort of exits. Don't forget to take off the pineapple. Don't go bad. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> William sort of trails off into the night and Britta you actually spend you spend the remainder of your time staring into the bonfire exchanging occasional words with um with Hay next to you who like she seems a little shy is the best way to put it uh it seems like her main talking points are talking about the island's curse uh mm -hmm. and uh, while charming at first, uh, the the warnings start to get uh, a little a little samey, and you're like, mm, okay. <laughs> you, spend, you spend some time just focusing instead on the fire, and uh, something something punctuates that actually a loud stomping noise coming up from over in the direction of the where that pig was slaughtered, the gazebo maybe. You're not a hundred percent sure, um, but uh, someone enters the scene alongside a bunch of construction workers. Huh? We already started the bonfire. <laughs> they move in. This overwhelming uh, presence. Look at this. It's all warm and stuff. But we already worked up a huge sweat. What do you think, boys? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Yes! They all charge in and plop down around the bonfire. Sakura oh. is shoved out of the way. Man, I could really use some marshmallows right now. <laughs> That'd be sick! Uh, Yori pulls himself up. I believe I have some in my mansion. I can go get them for you. Yeah, you're the man, Tani! <laughs> <laughs> Crawls his way over in this direction. Mm. So how are we all doing to tonight? <laughs> uh, hey, like looks over, slightly intimidated. Oh, that's them. Um, she's got she's got an overwhelming presence. Can I hide behind you? Yeah, but you're really tall. That's okay. She's going to. <laughs> 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 hey suppresses her presence back behind you. Sorelli is like getting shoved off to the side. Yeah, they they just start yelling and hollering as uh uh they start looking around and then uh their eyes meet with you, Beretta. They like, Ooh, who's this? Um, me? I'm Glockjo oh. One Guns. <laughs> oh. They kind of stand up walk over, step right past. The fire almost seems to just lick at them, but they don't really care too much as they stand directly above you. And then they kind of spit in their hand, mix it up, and then put a hand forward. A pleasure to meet you, Glocktua. My name is Dumbbell Damsky, but everyone around me here calls me dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you can too, if you'd like. <laughs> she uh, looks at her with a stern look on her face. 
And then she spits in her own hand because she knows this type and shakes. <laughs> she looks at you and then upon that, they kind of like get a big smile and they pull you up. And you know, they get this big goofy grin. I like you already. You did the spit thing. No one does the spit thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know the type. Well, what do you mean the type? You were about construction workers? Construction worker adjacent. Oh, yeah. They, they kind of like reach over and they, they squeeze your arm a little bit. Yeah, you got muscle. You lift? <laughs> uh, mostly CrossFit kind of thing. I don't, I don't want to build What's too that? much mass. More functional. Uh, don't get what's functional about, uh, not functional about lifting stuff. I mean, come on, look at this. I mean, <laughs> they flex. <laughs> yeah, you're 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 pretty you're pretty muscular. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is what is your workout <laughs> regimen? Is it simply working on the construction yard? Oh no 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 way! I can't just do that. Oh man, uh, he. <laughs> They turn around, uh, looking at their assembled group, and then kind of like, okay, so it's kind of hard to do everything all the way out here because, like, there's not really much gear or anything. So, obviously, you do the classic. You do push-up, sit-up, pull-up for warm-up. Plenty of trees, but, I mean, climbing all the way up them to get those big pine tree branches, not practical. <laughs> so we kind of set up our own little pull-up spots all around this, uh, the island so that no matter where you're working, you can always get that morning routine in, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty smart, like prison. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> they kind of like... But beyond that, um, well, yeah, we do a lot of lifting up of the, uh, the construction equipment, too. And that kind of, like, helps even things out a little bit, you know what I mean? But what am I doing? We're talking about working and working out and all that. What, do you, what about you? What do you do for fun? Um, fun? <laughs> fun, yeah. I, she, she's actually taken aback. <laughs> I hmm? don't know what I do for fun. <laughs> they kind of look a bit confused. What? Everyone's got some, something fun to do, right? I work a lot, and uh, even my hobbies are kind of like work. So, oh, you don't, you don't like your work then? I don't dislike it. It's I just wouldn't fun. consider it fun. Yeah. Oh, damn. That's like, it's kind of sad. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is kind of sad. They kind of, they kind of <laughs> scoot up right in front of you, and they sit down, putting both their hands on their knees. Okay, well. This island's a lot of fun. So, so like, what are you gonna, what are you gonna, hmm. Are you here on vacation? Are you here I to am stay? here on vacation. Maybe I oh, can so find out what I like to do for fun here. They snap their fingers. Yeah, exactly. So, so if that's the case, then all you gotta do is try to have fun. Well, I'll tell you, we're the most fun gang in here, you know? Yeah! Me and my boys are the best. And any gang you that and runs tighter than best. us, yeah. Any gang that's tighter than you and your boys? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm gonna have to correct you on that one. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? I might be a part of a gang myself. And nobody's kinda... tighter than me and my boys. We're like a they family. Kinda... We spit <laughs> handshake and everything. <laughs> they look directly across at you and then... <laughs> <laughs> the fire catches from behind them as they stare and you notice an intensity looks across I see, I see you don't think you can fool me with all this vacation talking when you're not even able to have fun I know why you're here you Why's think it's just because I'm on an island and that's this here island's all mine that there's enough room to share just because it's pretty big but no way, no way lady <laughs> this island's big enough for my boys and not another gang. Wait, tell you I what. just get myself into a turf war? <laughs> they stand up, crack their neck. I'll tell you what, you meet me back here by the dawn of the next day. We'll settle it then, huh? Yeah, fine. I don't back down from anybody, especially somebody like you. <laughs> ah, she kind of leans down over directly at you. Oh, you're not going to back down? We'll see how you feel after you tremble in your little sandals or while you go back to your little little shack and cry a little maybe no nope, i won't do any of those things in fact you're going to be the one that's going to be trembling in what you're wearing and go back to where you live and you're going to cry 
I haven't cried in five weeks. You're dead. <laughs> the little man breaks them up. <laughs> the man, they get shoved off, and then hold me back, little man. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of like even out a little bit. All right then, uh, Tua. You and your whatever they're called. I don't even know what your gang is. My gang, it's not important. You won't need to meet them. I'm plenty enough for you. <laughs> All right then, Glock to and the not importance. Well, I, well, you're gonna face the full. <laughs> what happened to your brain cells? Where'd they go? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're gonna. <laughs> They they stop talking because I can't handle this, and they just turn around and walk off proudly. I guess I dumb like... wasn't a misnomer. <laughs> they all the the group runs around behind them. <sighs> that leg is pretty tough. I guess, I guess so. Thank you for acting as a shield in that instance. Sorry if I got a little rowdy. I think I'm drunk still. It's fine. <laughs> I just can't back. allow the slander of anybody of seeming to imply that they might have a closer relationship with their friends than I do. Oh, uh, it's very nice that you have such a close relationship with your friends or family. Yeah, it is nice. <laughs> Wow, you're picking fights? <laughs> I didn't mean to, but she came here with energy. I guess. Um, you sure you're gonna be okay? There's like 20 of them. 20? Yeah, there's a lot of... Listen, uh, Dumbbell runs one of the biggest construction companies, I think, that's willing to go out to like remote islands like this and build it up. They're sort of like daredevil constructioneers or something. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to beat her ass and make her build my gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm cheering for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my horns. No, my horns. <laughs> he is like, he, he looks back. Well, I think I'm going to go back to my home now. Please take okay. some time to visit me and, um, Bows. Thank you. She before she goes, uh, takes a flower off of her because uh, she's still adorned. Yeah, and she uh, offers it to East. <laughs> she leans down and immediately munches it, <laughs> <laughs> and then runs off in this direction, waving goodbye. This is a very interesting island. Yes, I think so. Um. What was I supposed to get again? Or <laughs> he's like wanders back in. Oh, Sakura. Uh, probably him. <laughs> okay. Up you go. Damn. He's strong. We're going. We're I going. hope I hope you all have a fantastic night. We're going. Yes, we're going. Come oh, on, my other Come on, my other half. Uh, oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they they exit into this building over this way. What did they mean by? Oh boy. Um. Hmm. Uh, Cerulea like looks around. You've got some strong feelings about those um. Stampeders, was it? Yeah. Um. You described them. It was something that I did for fun. It's. It's probably hanging out with them. Hmm. It kind of didn't start as fun. It started as work, but... I don't know. You can be friends with your co-workers, right? <laughs> you... Especially feel her expression shift again. Eh, come on. She, she grabs your arm and starts dragging you again. Thank you. <laughs> Little man gets dragged along with the pile. <laughs> Bye, Auntie Zizi. <laughs> Zizi's shin guard just watches you freaking go. Yeah. She's just like, well, 
Tomorrow will be an interesting day. She kind of <laughs> checks back at the beach. Huh. Well, I'm going to go too. You both have a wonderful time. <laughs> she departs heading out and leaves. And then um, Queen Demean kind of just relaxes for a moment, staring forward at the fire. And then, <clears throat> what an eventful new thing. Uh, Count Cole looks too. Yes, yes. So much new stuff. Hmm. I wonder if... He kind of checks back. That Beretta is so fascinating. Ah, uh, I'm so happy she came here. I hope we can all become great friends. Uh, maybe, if we're lucky, she'll decide to stay here as well. Just like us. Yes, I suppose so. Cool kind of walks off and Naveen <laughs> stares at the fire and once more remembers big fancy tales that no longer are capable of happening. <laughs> And elsewhere, hold on, I gotta get something ready. Mm. Listen to the music and find for a half a second. Mm. It's dope. Do you feel the summer in your veins? <laughs> feel the summer in my veins. It helps that I have this beach sounds going in the background too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'll, uh, hold on. I got a DM. Ask you something. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, there we go. DM is sent. Um, you are dragged again, like for the again time today, onto this beach, and Sorelli is like the one who's just like stomping off you notice her steps go from like very like dainty i am picking up my entire arm pointing my hand down elbows up to just stomp clomp tromp like as you get further away from the other <laughs> do i have little man's hand and we're all of just a, a train <laughs> and uh she she sort of wanders out over here what was that question again uh can you be friends with your co-workers? Yeah. <sighs> uh, okay, okay. Uh, she, like, paces back and forth, like, burning a hole in the sand. Clearly, like, this question sort of <laughs> rattling her. Um, hey, did I hit a nerve? Mm, she plops down, crosses her legs, and just, like, hunches over 100% thinking. She sits down on her knees. <laughs> I mean, yeah, obviously. You're, um... You could be friends with your co-workers. Like, a bond's a bond. Right. Yeah. Doesn't matter how you earned it. She... What about God. if it was... a bond made dishonestly? But with good intention. She, uh... sighs and actually comes and sits next to you and you both look out over the uh look out over the now completely dwindling side. little man no no <laughs> it was really a yeats little man as hard as she can <laughs> <laughs> so far. i was dragging him when you ping sorry <laughs> No, now I'm just imagining every we just keep throwing him and he comes back and we throw him again. It's just kind of like we're throwing rocks. This is the power of the little man. <laughs> Long while ago, I was part of a pirate crew. I mean, you can't really be a pirate by yourself. It normally takes a team of people to do that. No, if you're and by yourself, you're just a sea thief. I guess I'm just a sea thief then. <laughs> she trails off because my old crew, um... We parted ways. We, uh, scratches the side of her head. We ran afoul of Gylardia's silver wind. And, uh, the rest was sort of history. My crew got snapped up and more or less, um, made into privateers for Gylardia as a whole. But me, myself, um, going legit wasn't exactly in my best interests. She trails off. And then looks over at you, eyes splitting open slightly, revealing a brilliant green. Look, I... I... I only had a family out on the seas, you know? But it wasn't like a family family. Like, a lot of people use that term to be like, 
oh, my boys are my family, or all that other gross shit. <laughs> she says, scratching the back of her head. Yeah, who would say something like that? That would be lame. But, and uh, when you're like, when you're close with a group of people and you're all working towards the same ideal, that's something else, you know? That's not... <laughs> no, you're right. It's almost more. She, her eyes completely, like, open wide. Yeah, you get it. Like, um, if you thought even for a second that would exclude you from being friends, well, that's bullshit. Like, complete bullshit. Because, um, y'all want the same thing. And, like, in the best case scenario, you and your friends are all working towards the same goal. I mean, she I guess, she I guess trails. where I feel bad and my hang-up is the way I left Indigo. Um, I wasn't being honest with them. Mm. They all looked up to me and we were all working towards the same goal, but my reasoning was my own and I kept it to myself. And that wasn't fair to them. She thinks about that. <laughs> Question. You think you've gotten better or worse at lying recently? Worse. Block to a... That's not the name. <laughs> well, I'd hope, because I gotta say, right now, you're a miserable liar. She, like, looks over at you and flashes you another big smile. I think they knew. The whole time? <laughs> Uh, she, she, uh, bumps her shoulders forward. If you're lying with this efficiency, yep. <laughs> I was really good. I had a really good hat. <laughs> I'm sure you did. <laughs> but at the same time, I mean, you're lying, you were lying to them about the pretense, but I'm guessing, since you're still carrying those feelings right now, you weren't lying about that part, right? Yeah, I wasn't. I just hope that when I go back that they can look at me the same way. She sort of exhales and then like taps her feet. Well, I can't offer any comfort there. I haven't seen my weird friend family ever since. Can't say that they've seen me the same way and I can't say I'm not terrified of the same thing that you are in that case. She just kind of clicks her tongue for a second. So... Uh, I guess... Don't feel bad about calling them your friends, because it feels like, uh... uh if you're miserable about that, then I'd need to be miserable too, and I don't wanna be! She just <laughs> flails out backwards, extending on the sand, like, absolutely dirtying her nice dress. <laughs> Yeah, it would be a shame if you were both miserable and a lone sea thief. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm just trying to live my life to the best of my abilities. Look, she, one of her eyes peeks open. I love the people I love regardless of where they're at in the world. That won't change. And, so, uh... What is it that you want, then? <laughs> uh... I mean... Oh, this is embarrassing. She, like, picks herself up again. I want to, um... My goals are pretty simple. I want to see a... I want to see anyone who has a disproportionate amount of wealth, uh... Sort of... Fall? Maybe get humbled? Just a little bit. I know somebody just like you. Huh? <laughs> she... Her eyes perk open. Look, I just... I... I want to be, like... I want to be a noble thief, you know? I want to I want to give money to the people who need it and take it from the... I haven't figured that first part out yet, but I am very good at taking it from the people who don't deserve it. So, like, I'm halfway there. <laughs> she just just with her hands. It's, it's not a bad goal. <laughs> kind of, um... You were expecting something more, right? <laughs> no. Not at all. Really? I think it's a good goal. Really? I, I think... I think it's a, a it's a building block to a much bigger picture. Yeah, I, listen, I don't need a big ideal. What I need is to take money away from people and give it to other people. <laughs> She's like explaining it with her hands. Why? What do you have? Do you have something much bigger? You got some great ambition or something? Oh, it's stupid. You'll laugh at me. 
<laughs> Come on, you just laughed at me. At least let me. <laughs> it's only fair. <laughs> I want to make a world where everybody has a choice. And she sounds satisfied with how she put it. <laughs> <laughs> how am I supposed to laugh at you when you say something like that? <laughs> oh, it's not dumb? She turns and looks at you. No. That's the type of thing that, uh... I don't know how to put it. That's the type of thing a boss says to rally up their, their troops or whatever. That's something that a captain says to get everybody else on the same page. That's like an ideal. Uh, it's nothing to laugh at, I guess. Man, I really wanted to. <laughs> she seems actually a little dissatisfied with that. I was kind of hoping you did. It would make me feel better about all the dumb stuff I've done. She, she looks over. Yeah, all that stuff you were describing back in the hot spring? Yeah. Doesn't sound dumb. You sounded proud of it. Oh, well, somebody I really respect told me it was dumb on my way out. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But she's kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to justify or unjustify your life decisions. <laughs> she she shakes her head. The ponytail floofs you in the back as she does so. I think ultimately it's up to you to decide if you acted well or not. Um, if you're acting under that ideal, I guess there's a bunch of dumb ways you could go about it, though. Yeah, maybe that's more it. Because, like, I mean, I want to steal. I want to steal from people who don't deserve it and give it to people who do. But that doesn't mean that I... Just because I have good motivations doesn't mean I can't have bad plans, you know? That's true. <laughs> Although I feel that my plan was good. Your plan was good, really? I think so. I then think why are you so was. conflicted about it? You're going back and forth. <laughs> I know, it's... Okay. <laughs> think of it like this. Put yeah. yourself in my shoes. My sandals. Okay. Uh -huh. In your sandals, sure. Um, My entire life, I've been the backup. Mm. The I'm the second daughter. I'm not yeah. supposed to be the one who's going to control the company that my dad runs, or my mother runs. Um, I feel like there was an a entire generation of people in that city that should have done what I'm doing now, but nobody did. Hmm. So I don't have a choice. I have to be the one that makes this situation better. Hmm. And no matter what stupid way I go about it, I'm right because I'm actually doing something when nobody else did. <laughs> she uh, she gets another difficult look at her face. Oh, I am gonna laugh at you now, but it's sort of a mean laugh. So here it comes. Get ready for it. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> she gives you a. Uh, she flashes you a big smile. That uh, that sounds that sounds like an excuse. She plops back down on the beach again. An excuse for what? Huh? Not everything going the way you wanted it to. Ugh. Like I said, you can have a bad plan and good motivations. She stretches out to her full length and then places a hand on the side of her head and just watches you with these glittering green eyes. You can have a bad, pl uh, you can have a bad plan with great motivations. The excuse of, well, I'm the only one who could have done this, maybe works as a bomb temporarily for how bad you might feel, but at the end of the day, ah, from the way that you're saying it, it sounds like what you did hurt you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it did. She hops up. I'm well, just not in the business of showing it. <laughs> well, at the very least, admitting that's a very good thing. <laughs> it's not about moral right or wrong, good or bad in this case. It's just, uh, man, <laughs> maybe you do need this vacation. <laughs> she gets a very mean look on her face. That's what my dad said. 
I, I would say he's a wise man, but he's rich as sin, and I'm going to rob him, so I severely hope not. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, he wasn't always that way. <laughs> uh, makes me feel worse. <laughs> what, that there's, a, that there's a way out? Yeah, I mean, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> she scratches the back of her head. Listen, I... I'm good at talking about this stuff when I'm talking about you, but you turn it back to me and it turns to... Yeah. <laughs> she just gestures with her hands. Well, I'll stop you right there. I don't want you to lump my dad in with all those rich people that you want to rob. Oh, you can okay. rob him. Don't get me okay. wrong. Okay. But he traveled across the world for somebody that he loved and came from nothing. Okay. He fell in love with a business that almost ended his life. And he's where he is now. Everything oh, yeah. he's got, he's earned. Oh, I'm gonna rob him. <laughs> she's like, she's just rubbing her hands together. Oh, that's my favorite story. That is that is absolutely the best type of person. The, the, the person who most needs a wake up call. Oh, this is gonna be great. Thanks, Beretta, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> and then starts to leave you this way. Hey, uh, thanks for opening up. Like, actually. I'm glad I could. I thought I'd be walking around this island with a fake name and a fake face for, like, <laughs> weeks at this point, but, um, feels like you got to see the true me, and I, uh, th th she thanks you for that, I guess. Well, it was a real name. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna come up with, like, a fake identity, you should probably come up with a different first name. Mm. Just saying. <laughs> she shrugs. That has a pinch of believability when you use your real name, though. She continues walking towards the beach. Hey, uh, what's that world of yours look like? The oh, one where everybody's got it. a, the one where everybody's got a choice. Well, for one, you'll get to, you can rob all those people that you want to rob. <laughs> Music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> What's in it for you? What's in it for me? Yeah, where are you at at the end of all this? Like, I see myself with my my name going down in infamy as a legendary hero. I see myself standing atop a mountain of gold I've ripped away from, um, people. And, uh... I thought you were gonna give it away. I, I'll stand on it first, though. <laughs> that's, that's fair. <laughs> but, like, I mean, where does your dream put you? In a world where everyone has a choice. That leaves Beretta Pietro as the truth of the world that made it that way. Mm. <laughs> you know what? I can actually kind of dig that. <laughs> <laughs> I want She's everybody, hard. when they can make their own choices, to know that I'm the one that did it. <laughs> <laughs> now that I can definitely dig. She holds her <laughs> she holds her hand out. <laughs> yeah, she takes your hand. You you shake. You you wind up uh shaking Sorelli's hand. Well, I'm looking forward to a fruitful collaboration and honestly, I'm looking forward to seeing whatever kind of world you create. A big smile spreads out over her face. But, just the same, try not to make any stupid decisions on the way there that you'll regret, okay? You make it to the top, you make everybody else capable of having their own choices. At least you give yourself the option of being happy too, right? That was something I never considered right. until recently. Ah, oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you seem kind of, like, I don't know, you seem, you seem egocentric enough to get it <laughs> i wasn't but now i am <laughs> good she claps you on the back and leads you up this way let's uh let's get you home i've got an in room to get back to wow when was the last time i've had girl talk like this hey little man he can't really have waves. girl talk with little man <laughs> little man she... respects girl talk <laughs> Let's zoom back over this way. 
And as you like, as you go in, Sorelia bumps up against something, that sword on your waist again. Feels pretty good still. Yeah. That one. That one's a real keeper. Sorelia. You know something about it? Uh she she looks over. <laughs> that thing? Oh boy. Uh uh, that's a guy Lardian Blade. I guess. Uh, they they take a lot of um, Raujan weapon design and sort of recast them themselves. That's, uh, yeah, that's that's a fine blade. I... Hold on. She actually leans down and looks at it a little closer. We can't do this in the middle of the night. Bring your, bring your dumb sword to me tomorrow. I want to look at it, okay? Okay. I'm sure you know more about it than I do. She gets a look of consternation on her face. Yeah, I think I might. Well, good night. She leans down to the little man. Don't you dare snitch on me either, okay? He uh, gets a gets a smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know Beretta. She isn't a snitch. So if someone finds out, I'll know it was you. He waves his hand in the air. <laughs> Glad we understand each other. Mm -hmm. Your usual contribution will be back behind the inn. <laughs> he nods. A <laughs> uh, little man walks up to Bretta and uh, puts his hands on Bretta's shoulder to bring her down. And he's he gets going down to his level. Uh, little man uh, points at Bretta's heart, uh, grabs Bretta's horn for a little bit. And then makes an okay hand. <laughs> Beretta does not know how to respond. <laughs> you stare into his face. <laughs> she stares into his eyes, and she reaches out and gives him a flower and puts it behind his ear. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then she points at her own heart and give her and points at him, points at her own heart. And then gives an okay. <laughs> he nods and walks away. <laughs> it's a good monk. <laughs> you you go back inside and darkness sort of descends over the island. You notice Sorelli has made it a few paces away and she's like, yeah, that went, walks over the tree, slams head against it. What am I doing? <laughs> Grinds forehead in. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> you think you hear a noise bread out in the night, but yeah, no, you just you just hear grind, 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 yell. And then um Actually. Silence. Yes. Someone mentioned it. Between the hours and 12 uh, and 1, a period of silence on the island. It seems almost completely and utterly devoid of life, movement, etc. And you feel it sitting in your sitting alone in your cabin, something moving around at night, almost cutting that air apart. But today's been a lot. You have a lot to think about and you mostly uh you mostly focus on that. Lost inside your own head, you decide to leave the outside world mostly to its own devices. And time passes. And it's around this point. The day turns over. And in the village, someone hurriedly begins running up from the beach. Actually, I'm doing this one. Okay, and this one, and this one. Iori runs into the village. Sakura standing out. Headache killing him. Mm -hmm. over. Sakura, Sakura. Um, yes. Please, when you get a chance, gather everyone. Why? Uh, they motion back over. 
Last night the boat burned. He looks at attention. It's like, I'll go at once. Thank you. Uh, they sort of shift around, looking back and forth, eyes tracing the path down to the docks. The next few days, I suppose this island will be our prison. They shake their head, trying to clear away the last bits of hangover and the smell of smog from their uh, from their nostrils. But they vanish back into their mansion, the door clattering closed behind them. Bretta, welcome to your endless summer break. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that was everything and more. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck yes. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for playing. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody who things. helped. Yes. <laughs> Seriously, this turned out phenomenal. I had a great time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, uh, Beretta. For completing the session, you get to allocate one more vacation point. Actually, hold on. We're gonna give you two. You get uh one vacation point from the uh from the drinking event. What is that? That was definitely fun. Fun, okay. You get one vacation point from talking to Sorelia. That was relaxing. That was relaxing, and you get one point for the session. This was, uh, also fun. Fun. Okay, so we are at 3-1-2 for your stats. Excellent. Nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Beretta's vacation powers are increasing. <laughs> okay, Girl. and with that, I want to thank everybody who is watching this on the recording. Thank you so much, uh, for, for participating in this. Um, y'all are the best. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I just have to say, just because it was so perfectly timed, I can't believe you you stopped the sound at exactly midnight for us. Yes, IRL. you did. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Listen, Beretta Gaiden has powers. It does. <laughs> powers that some would consider unnatural. Uncool. <laughs> Uncool. <laughs> yes, you mustn't go out at night. <laughs> Without, Without proper, proper lighting equipment. Lighting equipment. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Jesus Christ. I, what, uh, what a murderer's row of character. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. time to stop yeah. the recording. It's yeah. time to stop the recording. Why? Why? Why?